<laughs> Welcome back to Los Angeles 2119, everybody. It is our season finale of Callisto 6. We have made it to the end. Ah! Um, I'm so happy to have had the opportunity to play games with you guys again. This is going to be, this is our third show for some of us. We've been doing this three shows now. Two for the rest of us. <laughs> Multiple years of gaming either way, and it's been a, a privilege. So I'm really excited to be able to be here with you guys tonight. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're all and right. Hi. Yay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And thank you. That's a special thanks from me to you. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm feeling really, really, I'm feeling super like punchy tonight. So um, yeah, excellent. Yeah. Oh God. And this is the punch episode. I ate a lot of chocolate. Oh boy. I don't know what day it is. Yeah. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and jump into our announcements for tonight. Um, first of all, I'm just going to go right off the bat and say hi, Tal. It's good to have you back at our team. Hi. Yeah. He gets us the next to me. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. You're technically his companion from another universe. It's true. Yeah, it's so, true. Um, companion sake. <laughs> Man, we're, we're, we're breaking out the oldies tonight. I know. Um, Flashback hey. episode. We're sending <laughs> <laughs> um, So real quick, right off the bat, uh, I'm going to give a quick shout out um, for, for the season. But the big one that I want to start with, of course, is our sponsor for tonight, which is, of course, Monty Cook Games, <laughs> who we are big fans of here. We don't just love the system. The people that work at that company are spectacular. And it's been a real privilege uh, working with them. Darcy, in particular. You've been great, Darcy. I'm giving you a shout out here on live stream. Um, Monty. And of course, Shanna, like everybody is great over there. Um, so I have a code to give you all. I got code and stuff. So if you use the code, and it's, this is all uh, one word except for the last is not six, it's the digit six, Callisto6, um, you can get $5 off on a pre-order period, which is actually coming to a close soon. So jump on this for your best game ever, which is a book about uh, creating uh, gaming groups and how to cultivate a gaming group and make a positive gaming space. And um, I'm contributing to it. Uh, Monty, of course, is the lead writer on that. Matt, um, who I believe you are friends with. Mm. Tal, I think you know him, Matt. Would you say um, he's like a good DM? Oh, that Matt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. The other dude. That he, right? The dude, no, no, no the other one. The, uh. the one that looks like a Treyu, but actually kind of had the narrow, he's got sort of the, the jaw structure I'm going. Just, I'm just watching this hole get dug, it's great. Oh, great. <laughs> Oh, I'm 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 going I'm going for replay value on this episode. Um, Let's get so that. I was say uh, I'm gonna be a GM next week. So. Oh. If he wants any pointers, just tell Matt Mercer to call me. Oh. <laughs> no joke. Matt will probably call you. Yeah. Be like, hey, Lisa. Not I, I'd love to hear. Give me pointers, please. <laughs> please. Matt, Matt would probably just be like, hey, yeah, no, what do you got? <laughs> like, um, uh, so, uh, so yeah, so your best game ever. So use Callisto 6. And that's not all. It also is, this $5 off pre-order is also good for the revised Cypher System rulebook, which is coming out soon. Um, so the pre-orders are going to be closing on that and all the cool supplement books which are uh, your best game ever is actually because the Kickstarter got launched. They're coming out with a bunch of really rad supplement books. Um, and I'm particularly excited about the sci-fi one because Sam and I are always on the hunt for good sci-fi that has starship battles. Um, Combat got, is important. <laughs> Kato would agree. Save it, don't. <laughs> yeah. Say nothing. So, um, so definitely, um, so use Callisto6 as your code to get those $5 off. And thank you so much, Monty Cook Games, for being such a big supporter of the show. We've loved having you in chat. We've loved all the help you've given us. And thank you for helping me and Sam build the world. It's been great. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. What other announcements do we have? Sam, I think we have an announcement about Europe or something, right? Yes. Um, so as we were uh, saying last week, uh, a few of us are doing D&D &D in a castle uh, coming this July. This is and a real thing! It's yep. a thing! <laughs> it's a castle! It's a castle that like I can get around in, even though it's 12th century, which is just what? already amazing. Uh, but there's going to be D&D &D in it, which makes it even better. Um, and the tickets are finally open. They are selling out, so if you want to get some, you can go to dndinacastle.com. C N D in a castle.com. So yeah. Yeah. If you were planning on going on a cruise, but you were like, you know what, I'd rather go play D, &D in a castle. That's the thing to do. Yeah. This will be my first D, &D game I've ever run in a castle, so that'll be interesting. Who needs a retirement? Just that'll be interesting. <laughs> I'm, I'm well, excited to do that. Internet sensations. They're Campbell's uh, gonna be good. Yeah, it's been I love I miss uh, I haven't gotten a good chance to play some five E since I ran that one shot of Adventures in Middle Earth. Back in TBD days. Aww. Yeah. So I haven't actually. 
uh, Taldori day. Well, oh, that's right. I ran the Taldori. There you go. That that one that one game setting. Yeah. That, yeah, 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 yeah. That? I seem to remember that. Oh, yeah. that one guy. Oh shoot. <laughs> Not key. Yeah, Mad yeah, yeah. Key. It's all right. Mad yeah. Key. Uh, I have yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Is, you have another one? Mm-hmm. What's up? Um, also, uh, this Sunday on Saving Throw Show's Twitch channel, oh, yeah. uh, those of you familiar with Vast might be interested in <laughs> a special Vast Space Turtles game of lasers and feelings, including many, 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 many. Many vast alumni. It will be guaranteed bazonkers, and we are raising money for charity, so I'm very excited. We're supporting Support the Trevor Project. The Trevor Project, which I'm really excited about. There's and a goal. I, yeah. There's a goal that I'm really interested in. You, you, you relating to. I don't know. Okay. It's probably get. It's I, mm. I, yeah, but I, I, I apparently have to say the goal so that then people will go, and it's for a good cause, so it should be okay if I talk about it. But there's a secret unlock. Everyone. Where I would GM studio. a game of lasers studio. and Sams and feelings, and everyone would play oh, no. an iteration of a Sam character, and oh. I would be running a game. <laughs> but only if we unlock like a ton of money. It unlock be, it. It needs to be called We Are Sam. I need a checkbook. We Where's my checkbook? <laughs> so unlock so. the Sam seal. Let it be out into this universe. <laughs> so yeah, Ooh, apparently they. They know how to talk me into maybe running a game, yes. and that's if it's Solid. support the Trevor do Project. It. So, so yeah, good you cause, figured out. Good cause, and Sam gets to GM when they swore they would never do it again, so it's please like donate. breaking of the seal please is the it. opposite of an apocalypse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's like, that's like <laughs> the, the seal to break for world peace. Yeah. 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 rainbows and unicorns Care everywhere. Bears, and you're like, yeah. yes! Is that what you think's in my brain? That's what's in our brain. There are definitely rainbows in your brain, Sam. It's a flood of puppies. It's all puppies, yeah. Yeah. Puppies all the way down. You're playing, so you're gonna find out. We <laughs> <laughs> unlock it. <laughs> all right, so yes. one more announcement, I believe, tonight. And uh, uh, oh, I have one. Yes. Um, we have a special little clip to show about what's coming up next, perhaps. Yes, next Friday. There's Ooh. something. Ooh, really? Play that clip. Play that <laughs> funky music. If we could. So that's happening. Ooh, just a little taste, a little, oh. little tiny taste. Yes, yeah. Lisa Pearl stepping into the GM's chair, running over light. Yes. I'm very excited about this. With an amazing cast. Yes. Yeah. You definitely tweeted, so I'm pretty sure it's public. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yep. 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 Yes, and I did. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that'll be next Friday. Taking into the slot of t- um, of. Callisto Six, this show, whose name I forgot just then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, um, uh, so yeah, so that'll be next Friday, starting at 4 p.m. So definitely jump in on that. Um, I believe uh, the other announcement that I have to tell you guys um, before we get to our final, most important announcement um, is that tonight the poll closes for Measure Z at 6:30 p.m. PST, so studio time. At 6:30. The polls for Measure Z are done. Yes, we know you can vote multiple times, so that will invite trolling, there's no question about that, but it also means that you out there, with whatever voice you wanna raise for whatever side, you'll see that in the polling data, you'll see what the measures are, what the measure is, what yes and no means, but also what the game meta will mean and what direction the vote is going to take the game. That's a quick recap, a vote yes on Measure Z will take this into a more super punk, it'll leave cyberpunk behind and jump into a more Big Hero 6 Overwatch super punk. If you You'd say no on Measure Z. We're going full Blade Runner, guys, <laughs> with superpowers. But we're going Blade Runner. So, um, uh, so I, I know some of you. Yes. I've been keeping my eye on the poll, and I've I've been insane. I'm getting an idea of how many dark people are, like how dark they get with like their with their their genres because they're getting really bleak with some of the no votes. So get out there and vote for sure, you guys. So um, yeah, costume change uh, for six. I'm just saying. <laughs> 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 So, um, I think that's it, oh, unless there's yeah. anything else. Yes, Sam. I'm excited! I had a feeling. Mm. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into tonight's season finale of Callisto 6.
funny. All right, welcome back. That's the first time I haven't gotten a death threat from Sam before we went live. Um, There's no evidence and no witnesses of any of that. <laughs> right. Oh, no, music. All right, so let's go ahead and start tonight's oh, episode. Music. <laughs> and just anxiety rising already? Yep. That's it. <clears throat> Here we go. In many ways, it looks just like some of us always imagined. A sterling silver cityscape with great platinum towers stretching like fingers of polished metal towards the sky. Vehicles dot the skyline, soaring at altitude, and in the light of the dawn resembles an angry red strokes of Morse code that seem to scroll across the orphaned fog of twilight. Beyond the inner ring of the futuristic landscape, outside the boundaries of corporate inner sphere, Los Angeles is a sprawling, pitiless amalgam of 22nd century aesthetic mixed with the brutalized city that existed before Sea Day, the shorthand reference for the day Los Angeles died 40 years ago. Nine million people call this place home now. Los Angeles is a grand metropolis in the most advanced city the world has ever known. And under its skin is a civilization living on blast. The people stir from their cold complacency. In the opiatic haze induced by the technological marvels of its jailers, Los Angeles has been jostled awake by the inhuman reality of its circumstance. Like tape torn from their eyelids, the public has been made to stare at the painful and dire consequences of trusting their fortunes to the glittering illusion of false promise. News has begun to race across the airwaves of horrible experiments in the depths of a now sealed off lab by Cassium and the undeniable proof present in both the data and in the incarceration of Dr. Jerome Blair, whose morbid ability to induce a poison state on those around him has caused a current of awe and terror to sweep through the populace. <clears throat> the word super beings is being whispered and more people speak of things that they have seen while familiar footage of innocent people being rescued from a falling metal tower plays again and again and again in news reports. The one thing the public knows, and the one person the public is most familiar with, Kylan Krauss, the star CEO of Pyramid Solutions, has not been seen for weeks now. And many are beginning to speculate that there might be an unprecedented upset taking place at the corporation of Pyramid Star Solutions, while others are speculating about his well-being. Looming also is the vote on Measure Z, a ballot measure that would crash through the questions of where Los Angeles' futures lie, deciding once and for all what the city will be and who the city will be for. And while it seemed as though the measure was doomed to fail, Voices have arisen. From Baldwin Island to Raft City to the borders of corporate LA, under the monolithic shadows of apartment megaplexes and the ominous spires of the corporate giants. In the midst of heated divisive debate, a symbol has begun to surface across walls, statues, buildings, and city streets. A unique looking segmented six. Gatherings of people whisper that the symbol is a symbol of resistance a growing movement whose leaders are spoken about with admiration and sly smiles. It's a movement that unifies and is growing quickly in number, pushing back against the opponents of Measure Z. As the mayor takes to the pulpit to rouse the citizens, corporate LA launches its fear-mongering campaign, frightening the people with what change will mean and what they will lose should they decide to become masters of their own destiny. This is Los Angeles 2119. And in many ways, it's beginning to look like how so many of us had always hoped it would. It's been weeks since that lab, the incidents below in the sub-levels of that Cassium lab where you guys encountered the horrors, uncovered the data and fought your first supervillain. <clears throat> And we're victorious. The people you saved from that lab have been taken in by various hospitals and are being cared for. And occasionally, some of you have checked in to see how they're progressing, and it turns out they're doing quite well. 
If nothing else, the medical system here in Los Angeles 2119 is making sure that these people are taken care of. But it's also worth pointing out that since they were part of that Cassium lab invasion, they have become the center of the political debate and the controversy surrounding Cassium. So as a result, it makes good politics to save these people. So it's difficult to it's difficult to, to, to really discern what the motives are, but the good news is they are being cared for, and that's something. In the weeks that have transpired since that invasion, a few things have taken place. One, Cobalt and Luma have been busy little bees <laughs> and have been tagging and rousing the undercurrent culture across <laughs> Los Angeles. And the segmented six has been appearing in different ways all across the city. There's even rumor that one six has appeared somewhere within corporate LA made purely of a strange plant that seems to be growing off the side of concrete. <sighs> um, <He knows. laughs> but also, it would seem that after diligence and constant care, you've managed to halt the further cellular degeneration that is taking place in Sal. However, Sal's not as mighty as he used to be. And he's taking it easy, but it seems for the most part that he is doing okay. And the wound, while it is closing, will be with him the rest of his life. However, there is the looming question of the data that you uncovered in that Cassium lab, because the data would suggest that creatures born of these experiments have a very short lifespan. Cellular degeneration is inevitable. That looms. However, Sal moves around and continues his normal duties. He probably won't be throwing punches the way he used to, but he's seeming to get pretty good at knowing how to serve coffee. Mm. And it's something he's getting quite fond of doing to the point where you're having to turn down multiple coffee cups mm. while you're trying to enjoy the first one he brought you. But also, the big mystery that's taking place right now, aside from the fact that you have all been made aware that Kylan Kraus, or the CEO rather, as you all know as Fletcher Kraus, has been strangely absent from all public viewing. He has not made any statements, he's not come out, you have not heard a thing, and the real Kylan Kraus, who is an ally and has been funding your whole operation, has confessed that he's a little nervous. He doesn't remember a time where something like that's ever happened before, and he's concerned. It's been quiet, giving you time to do what y'all do. So those undercurrents, I think it's safe to say that you are all in favor of Measure Z and have been pushing that as best you can. <clears throat> and on occasion, maybe saving a life or two, stopping somebody from getting mugged, that sort of thing. Obsessively, however, has been Lacey, <laughs> down in Blue Dolphin Base, hovering over this pod that you recovered from Cassium. This pod which has eluded even your advanced brain with all of the countermeasures in place. The trick has been, Lacey, opening this pod as well as not injuring or possibly killing whatever may be on the inside. This is particularly important because all of you are aware that something inside this pod is connected to the Callisto energy source. It has- We were told it was an ally, right? That's kind of what we- yeah. That's learned. kind of what, that's, and I believe that was Oya's doing, that correct? Was, yeah, like Oya was able to find, looking through the threads of destiny, was able to find evidence that there was somebody who's sympathetic to you, or would be, inside this pod. Um, now the Callisto, it's written like it was across the canister, Callisto. Um, and it has the word six written across from it. However, one of the things that you've noticed, Lacey, as you've been moving through this, is it looks like this canister has been reused. Because as you've been digging through the data, the big revelation that you've uncovered, which we're gonna start today, is there's a meeting taking place in the, in the base area. Not only do you think you've cracked this, but what you've uncovered underneath all the data and pulling and extracting all the information and comparing it to the information you've all managed to get from 
the Cassium base is that whatever is inside this was previously referred to, no joke, as Callisto 5 or C5. Specifically, it comes out in the, what it comes up to in the data is CV, is how it, is how it presents. And it took a few moments to realize what that meant. I thought it was curriculum vitae. I was really confused. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start tonight with everyone meeting in the center room. Um, the pod is in your lab. It's still in a, it's still in a stasis. Has not been opened, but it has reached the point where you've unlocked it. So you can pop the thing when you want to. Oh, as, as agreed. What's that? I heard lap. You said lab. Lab. I also okay. heard it, lab. Heard it took lab me a too. moment as well. Really? I it's got in it. your lap. Uh, Lacey just like, comes in. Goes, what do you guys want me to do with this? <laughs> I've been How? focusing on my stretching abilities. Okay. And one of the things I've been able to do is turn myself into a giant beanbag chair nice. for all of us to oh comfortably my. sit in. So we are it's in, not fact, weird. It's comfy. in my lap right now. <laughs> Wait, seriously? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's silly. We have Never superpowers, but that's silly. I'll sit on this chair. I'll sit on this chair. So typically around this time of day is where you all meet up. Now, some of you typically go home and retire for the night. Some of you decide to stay on Blue Dolphin Base. I leave it to you. But it's one of those nights where some of y'all are going to be headed back to your houses, your places to visit. Um, and we'll get to those scenes in a bit. But right now, it's before it's before quitting time, as they say. And you've all gathered in the main area. Um, Sal, of course, you can already, as everyone's sitting down, Sal has already begun heating a coffee pot. Um, and you can see um, an unused coffee pot off to the side that's full. And he, he just, the, the impression you get, like, once again, as everyone's entering this room, you see this, this giant just kind of hovering over the, the countertop. And you can smell the coffee being brewed. And he is just transfixed as it brews and it percolates. And he's just... <sighs> And then he starts setting out cups. Thank you. This is because you gave him snacks, Oya. I know. Um, See the rewards that snacks can bring. He's getting so good with water. Mm -hmm. um, so, so uh, the pod we can open now. So, what? Yeah, I'm sorry it took me so long. It was, it was really challenging. I didn't expect that level of encryption complexity. That's super impressive. Um, but I, I think I figured it out, so can, everyone's looking at me. <gasps> Bust it open! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, wait, 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 we, sh we should maybe like, I don't know, take a few steps back or something. We don't know who's in there. We don't know what they can do. Like, yeah. what if it's something like, you know, like lightning or something coming out? Like, uh, let's you got that. Few I know, but what if they have Boy it too? Boya said it was an ally. Yeah, that doesn't mean they know what they can what they can tr control. Like I could control it at first. Like we should Good just point. maybe take a few steps back, yeah. in case you know, in case they're spooked or anything. Exactly. I take four steps back and then shout, "Bust it open!" Okay. Mm -hmm. You Sal starts <laughs> to set down the coffee cup and goes, "Bust open." Oh, oh, no, not us, no. buddy. Them. <sighs> this is my best. <laughs> goes back, pouring. So. I actually take up roughly the same position I took uh, when I activated the Cobalt device. Because okay. I can disactivate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that everything is lined up and we're supposed to be so steps away. Does everyone gather in the lab then, I guess? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just like. Okay. Kind of hovering in the doorway, I think. Okay. Honestly. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone's hovering in the doorway. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because Lacey kind of peeking in and just kind of stare at it for a second. And you all watch this light go from a flashing uh, like yellow light to ding, green. <laughs> I was He's done. And then you hear this <laughs> as this mist immediately ejects from the side and just <laughs> sliding down, just as you might imagine any kind of cryopod. It immediately just slides back and a waft of cold, frigid air comes breathing, exhaling out of this pod. Um, present immediately, it's no suspense as there is a body inside, and you see as this fog begins to lift immediately for anyone, really it's going to be Lacey, anybody coming out of a frigid state like this 
their metabolism, it's probably gonna take a few hours for them to really come around. Of course, at the very least. However, as this is happening, you see instantly the crystals on the skin of this person begin to vanish and their eyes shoot open. So. What do we see? You have disjointed images of what happened to you before being placed in this thing. But you know that it was violent. It had to be. There's no way they were going to get you willingly into this pod. But you have no idea what you did or what happened, which would hint at what may have actually happened. Yeah. Um, but as you're kind of blinking awake, you do see that familiar, familiar cold, sterile metal ceiling that is very indicative of a Cassium lab. Um, and you can feel like the warmth immediately, your body activating, you feel the energy immediately coursing through every vein in your body as it acts. Am I restrained? You are not. Can I see the room? You are eyes darting around, um, your brain processing everything. This room looks like it has been recently cleared out. It's remarkably empty for a Cassium lab. It does have a lot of technical aspects to it. You do see equipment. You see in the corner something you never thought you'd see in a Cassium lab, but sewing equipment all lining the wall with strips and cr pieces of fabric strung all about, as well as wigs and all manner of like color variations that can be sprayed and or applied. And then in the left corner is kind of like a Scooby-Doo episode, a bunch of people peering into this lab, <laughs> staring at you. It's just my head, by the way. And, <laughs> and the neck yeah. kind of stretched around the corner. I'm like a few steps, I'm like Your, your body is still in the main room and you're- <laughs> He's having a coffee in the other- Creepy bastard. So I can see a door? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it unlocked? It's open. Is there a light switch? There is a light switch. I'm going to run to the light switch, turn it off, and run out the room. Um, <laughs> uh, past us? We're at the door. So here's what happens. Oh, huh? Um, you, you see this guy sitting up. Do you want to describe yourself real quick? Um, and, and definitely give it a brief uh, description because it does not last long. <laughs> it doesn't last long. He's, uh, he's dressed in kind of a, a bit of tatters. They're, they look like these were not, these were not clothes chosen by somebody. This was something that someone wore because it was what was around. There's definitely a slight laboratory vibe. There are is tech embedded in both sides of his head um, with slightly glowing LEDs. Um, and the tech is actually, you can see, is actually embedded in other chunks of the body as well. Uh, visually, he looks a little bit like, uh, um, uh, what's his name? He looks like uh, somebody, he looks a little familiar, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. um, could be related to, to, to a Kraus, mm -hmm. quite possibly. Mm -hmm. uh, For those of you who want to make a perception check, go ahead and roll. Okay. It's an intellect roll. What's the difficulty? Uh, five. Okay. He also has a big, uh, a very large tattoo over the right side of his face of concentric circles with a line, uh, <laughs> lines running across them. So 15 or better, unless you burn. So that's down to. I blinked, mm -hmm. so. You missed it. Completely. I don't think uh, I get a perception. I, I would like Anton to nah. reach I... and, and grab some physical credits out of his pocket, and then he stretches over and hands it to Cass mm -hmm. and goes, It's not Walt Disney. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 15. You got a 15? Who got a 15 or better? The two of you spot the unmistakable facial structure of Kylan Cross sitting up out of the pod. Uh, Holy shit, it's, it's different in that the haircut is completely different, the tech is different, the build is a little different, but it's unmistakable. But what's really disorienting is he's not there suddenly, and the lights go out in the room. Fast. And there is a... What? There is a gush of wind from a displacement suddenly around both of you as the room goes completely dark oh. and everything vanishes. You feel the presence of something blast past you. There'll be a slight light trail and that's it. Yep, you just see like light green just and then. Just shout down the hall, we already got you out, this is the same space. You are in the middle of the, so where you find yourself standing now, <laughs> you are in the middle of a very large, looks like the main room. This place looks quite comfortable. There's a large computer lining one of the back walls with this huge display um, that seems to indicate that it's an island or underneath an island. You also see a large uh, television screen that's currently playing the news, a comfortable looking kitchen, and a terrifyingly large 
human being-ish creature that is dressed in a, what, a yellow raincoat, I believe? Um, It looks like it's dressed in a yellow raincoat. Its face looks horribly patched and pale and also dark in other areas, like it was amalgamed together. It turns and looks at you and just goes, coffee. As you just come blasting into the room, stopping and processing it. There is no visible exit. You do see a ladder going up into the ceiling and you see um, a couple of windows looking out into what, if you didn't know any better, looks like an aquarium. Hi. Can I run after him? Note to self, listen to Hop. Step out into the... Hmm. You step out into the hallway and kind of look, and you see, you don't know how it's possible, Hops, but he's in the main area now, standing, looking around, and just taking it in, and Sal's talking to him, but hes he looks like he's stopped and he's taking everything in. Everyone can move now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going <laughs> yeah, yeah. to run right after him. Yeah, we go after yeah, him. Yeah, I roll my eyes and go, we're going to have to kick this guy's ass. No, so no, 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 no. <laughs> head comes back to my body, and then as my head comes back, I'm going to try to wrap my arms around I'm going to run up the ladder. Still, oh, damn it! I'm gonna run. Out of I'm just deal. running to him. Someone, so, someone get him! <laughs> Anton, see so <you, laughs> a cacophony of no weights and and the arms coming out and there's nothing there, Anton. Um, you reach the top of the ladder and there is a sealed hatch. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm, Weird guy, don't do that. Fine. I'm gonna run down. I'm gonna check if there are any other rooms in this place. I'm gonna what? check every room. Yeah. Oh um, you see a streak of, of green um, blast past you. I'll um, pause in every room for one second. He is so fast. We're just gonna see. hold my arm out in random directions and hope that he will run into it. No, it's okay. I've had to okay. this at work. He's just having a tantrum. He'll run around until he tires. You come across. Uh, you come across <laughs> the barracks. It looks like a, like uh, like a space where everyone could sleep. Like so, it looks like uh, a couple of beds like bunked on top of each other. It looks quite comfortable. You see a lot. A lot of strange belongings laid about. Um, you see something rather alarming. You see this war droid currently p- pulling, you see it like sparks flying as it's removing a Gatling gun from its arm and it goes and looks at you and then oh. you're gone. Um, <laughs> you immediately fly into the next room where you see it's basically a large pantry and supplies. And as you're zipping around, you're seeing everything else looks empty. What's the layout of our base like? Is it like one common room <laughs> split off into a bunch of different hallways and yes. rooms? So there's a main okay. common room, and then there's basically like pods that go off to the side. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm gonna try to echo Cass's brilliant idea, except I can physically do it. Mm, I will cool. stretch my arms across every open doorway, <laughs> yeah. just in the main room, to try so that when this dude bounces back, he's gonna hit his neck or something. Would you like to make a dex roll? I'll make a dex roll. All right, so I'm gonna say it's a common obstruction in the hallway. You're trying to take up as much of it as possible. So for you, I'll set the difficulty. It's gonna be difficult, so I'll set it at four. So you need I look over 12. like, oh, that with yeah, my, better that idea. Before my, my dex That's modifier? before you modify anything. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, the dex three power shift modifier. Okay. Three shift. Um, so, okay. so oh. Anton, you- if this guy has super speed, get- this isn't gonna matter. He's gonna be able to see it coming. And so as you stretch out in every direction, you notice that you're like, he's not here, except for all of you are staring at him behind Anton in the middle of the room. I've grabbed the coffee. Okay, you've got it in your hand. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sal looks down at it and just goes, more. And starts filling it up. It begins to spill over a little bit. I told you, get to Damn it. That's his what? Okay, I know you're probably really confused. Uh, we're we're like you, okay? Like, this is not a lab or whatever. I mean, it is a lab. It's a lab, yeah. but it's not okay. like the lab. We, we didn't do this to you. How, first of all, we you broke you out of there. Um, it occurs to you, suddenly, you don't remember the layout of this place. Oh. <laughs> it occurs to you, this place is completely foreign to you. You're not entirely sure exactly which room you came from. We broke you out of Cassium. Where's Dr. Patel? Oh. Um, uh, mm-hmm. They got her. They... Th- where am I? Who are you people? Who are you? Uh, how about we just all sit down we're, and yeah. like we're friends. Not we're run. not gonna hurt you or anything. I don't know if we could hurt you. <sighs> Do you have any questions? We'll we'll answer any questions you have. If you answer some of ours. Where am I? Who are you people? Um You're under the ocean. We took this abandoned facility from Cassium. Uh, they were doing experiments in roughly the line of what they were doing at the facility where we found you. Uh, we're the Callisto Six. That doesn't explain. There's no such I, thing I, as I Callisto Six. Okay, we're, there is okay. now. Who are, you, who are you really? 
We are a group of very attractive um, and talented individuals who were just, somehow given superpowers. It's you, true. Lindy, I'm, I'm trying to turn into your face. Okay. Um, you stare back at yourself as this woman comes and looks at you and she just goes. I immediately grab her and throw her against the wall. Oh! Oh, hell no! No, it's okay. <laughs> you can totally okay. try. Look, this is what we are. Are you Fletcher? No, 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 no. 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 My name is Luma Orsini. Do, do me, do someone else. Okay, look, uh, anyone look, else. Look, um, I, I turn into hops. Oh God, you changed. Yes, I turn back into myself. Be Doc, I do, I, oh, maybe not that. Okay, uh, I Bad change idea. my hair to uh, dark purple. It flows down, it shorts back up. activate for like up. half of this, oh no. <laughs> um, do you understand? We We're have like you. powers. We have powers, like too. Powers. Who has pockets? I have I do. pockets. So cool. Raise I'm gonna, his I, raincoat. I'm gonna immediately um, uh, run over to her and steal her wallet really quickly and check her ID. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Unless you want to try to resist that, it's gonna happen. No, but I okay. will protest. <laughs> um, you don't realize what's happened until he's holding your wallet and um. you pop that thing open. Most of it's digital now, so as you pop it open, it immediately reads whatever information you want to. Excuse me, that's really rude. <laughs> um. Baldwin Island, place of residence. Um, name is Oya. Hey, um, I'm gonna step in front of you. Fast asshole, next one of my friends you touch, <laughs> this conversation gets a lot less pleasant. Yeah. You don't wanna piss her off, she's, she's really strong. And cool, don't piss her off because she's cool. What's your name, What's your Dad? experiment number? Why do you think, what was that about Okay. If you don't, uh, I think we're, okay, I think you, I know this you is know going. Dr. Patel, right? We didn't really get a number. Dr. Patel opened the canister at us. We were kind of just hanging out in an alley outside. We didn't really get a choice. She escaped the night of the convention, and she opened it on us. Accidental superpowers. Accidental. Yes. Yeah. Like she I might said. have had a plan. Sit down. Coffee. Did. Coffee. Okay. And starts pouring you more coffee. I don't know. Maybe you should lay off the caffeine for a little bit. Why <sighs> not? Okay. Whoa. What's your What's your name, guy? Coffee. I am Experiment CV one two seven S. What does that mean? No. What's your name? I don't. Wait. My name is Experiment CV one two seven S. Yeah. No, it's fucking not. Project Synapse. They don't name projects he was made until in the they succeed. He's made in a lab. Okay. There are he's one of those clones. One of the clones. All right. Well, we're not calling you clones. Um, you see, the 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 being holding the coffee goes. Subject C nine one. C series. This is Sal. Sal. Oh. C six. C six. Coffee. How long have I been in the pod? Uh, about nine years. <sighs> Based on the rough date of some of the other experiments, it could be later, though, with with the numbering involved. We were looking at uh, C92s uh, for a while, and those were definitely nine years ago. What's the last year you remember? <sighs> it's hazy. Uh, it's hard to remember dates. Um, I don't. What is the last thing I remember? <sighs> Unfortunately, a lot of what you were doing before you were forced into that pod was spent at your super speed. Um, uh, you do remember. You have brief images of hearing conversations of Doctor Patel trying to convince them to leave you alone. You, you're not sure what was happening then, but you know it was when they were infusing more of the energy into your form. Um, you have a brief image of uh, what the world knows as Kylan Krause standing at the edge of a force cage. Looking into your own face is somewhat surreal. You also see the very familiar f figure of a woman behind him in a black suit and feeling a sense of dread upon the side of her. Um, and 
And then of course, all the other disjointed feelings and emotions you get from everything else <laughs> that lurks beyond. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but most of it is fragmented and disjointed. You do have a, a brief memory of a, a research scientist, a, a very peculiarly tall African-American man who is in a white lab coat with a very friendly face and a cold, malicious look in his smiling eyes as he's filling a needle. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, where, where is this place? Why are we underwater? Um, we needed some place to hide. We didn't know if we'd get aerial supervision and also underwater is cool. We found this secret base and took it over. Can Cassian find us here? Can Pyramid find us here? I haven't so far. Do I have a... Do I have a... I might have a tracker on me. I don't know. Okay. Lacey. I can figure that out. Sit Make still a roll. if you can. What's my roll? So this is going to be... Uh, you're using... Hmm. Can I assist with computers somehow? Yeah. Yeah, you can go over to the computer console on the side. I'll give you, I'll give you an assist on this. Um, it's not going to be with your assist. Even with the, the thing is, is with your assist and with your automatic drop from power shifts. There's really no. It's kind of an auto, unless you want to make, unless you want to roll for a twenty, Sam. No, I'm good. Okay. Um, and the risk of risk. Yes, there is a tracker on him. It is not functioning. Hmm. Your tracker's disabled. Can we make sure that it won't? Get when they able? say that to you, Can get out. When they say that to you, you suddenly have a brief memory of the warm face of Dr. Patel leaning over you. You see her kind of, you can see it's like hazy, but you can, you can see her looking back over her shoulder and she's like, she looks down at you and she says, in case you ever get out of here. And then you hear a clicking sound and a sharp pain inside your rib cage. What and, a word. Uh. Do you have people we should tell? I mean, no. You're. You should be in the lab. He's got lab people. Okay, that doesn't mean that he doesn't have people. I. He had Doctor Patel. Don't have people. I am. Oh. CV one two seven S, Project Synapse. Uh, they don't name projects. Okay. They called it Project Synapse. I was the first successful Callisto 5 experiment. And as far as I can remember, the last one. Uh, obviously, more has happened. Uh, where is Fletcher Krause? Can I feel him? May have been too soon. No, oddly enough, it, it, it doesn't feel, yeah, it's a little, you're a little, Disoriented, but I will say this, Tal. Go ahead and make a roll. Um, so roll a d20, um, and this is how this is going to work. It's a perception check, really. Um, I'm going to set the difficulty of this at. I'll set it standard, so two. So you need a six or better on a d20. Nope. Nope. Okay. So, um, actually, you know what? All of you guys should roll this. Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. Six or okay. better. Six or better. So it'll just be. It'll just determine yep. the order in which who notices it and. Got it. Me okay. Too. Everybody got it? Yeah. All right. So it catches everyone's attention. Um, we'll say that the project is facing away from the television and isn't catching it. But all of you kind of glance up and can't, you can't pull your eyes off the TV suddenly because you're watching a news report. You see on the news a live feed coming in from a press conference from corporate L.A. Uh-oh. Um, Sal, turn that up. And he immediately begins to turn it down. Just nope. other oh, way, Sal. That, other uh, way. Uh, 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 uh. And it starts getting louder and louder and okay, louder. I can tell the volume um, up. Um, <laughs> yeah. And so, you see, standing at a podium, is in her suit Oniko, and next to her is a woman signing. And you see the news report coming in as um, Oniko is um, reading. Um, via sign, this person signing for her, um, you see the news report like coming in across the bottom that Oniko has been named interim CEO of Pyramid Star Solutions. Hmm. Huh. 
and you're seeing a news commentator coming up on the corner of the screen looking. She's like, obviously this is a, a huge shock. A lot of the public has questions about the uh, current status of the former CEO, Kylan Krauss, who, as everyone knows, is one of uh, Los Angeles's, uh, I think it's, I, Terry, I think it's, it's safe to say one of the golden childs of uh, Los Angeles. Um, no news on the whereabouts of Kylan Krauss. However, it does seem and the interim CEO has been selected. Um, we have no information of, of this woman um, who is simply calling herself Oniko. Do you, uh, do you have any? And they just kind of start beginning doing commentary. Um, you, upon, upon hearing that and you kind of looking back over your shoulder, you see her and she doesn't look any different from the last time you saw her. Um, she is just as horrifyingly vacant. An inhuman vacancy upon her face. She is just saying, she is just like relaying information and you see the sign next to her. She's just kind of nodding and the person signing off, um, they finish this news conference and she folds the data pads close and she turns and without any fanfare, turns away from the camera and begins to step down as Pete reporters start shouting questions at her and her translator follows after her. Um, as they move down the stairs, um, you don't recognize the translator, maybe just like a, a hire, but you see her, she moves and acts just like you remember. <clears throat> there it is. We've gotta stop it. What? It, her. What's your deal? I don't know. I think, I think I'm hungry. Uh, that makes sense. Snacks. You've got lots of food? Yeah, well. Any allergies? I don't know. Find out. Okay, no tree nuts maybe. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, everyone looks at Eric. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, no nuts. <laughs> no <laughs> um, would you mind if I maybe run some scans, make sure you're okay? Stasis is a lot. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Do you want to detail what those implants on you are? Yes. As Lacey kind of <laughs> does a scan. Implants are almost entirely, um, almost entirely um, for making, uh, for readout and data analysis. They don't actually, they're not the basis of the powers. They're not, they're not mm -hmm. part of the power system. It's to give easier access to my nervous system and brain and brain function so they can see what happens when I accelerate. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. There's also a series of lights built into the harness and into all of the uh, diodes that have been put in that are designed to feed off what is um, massive amounts. There's of some sort of energy buildup that happens in, in the uh, nervous system. That nervous system energy is then somehow transmitted, transmitted into some sort of uh, um, bioenergy that the, that the body feeds off of. So the amount of energy and, and, and electrical energy going off in the brain suddenly ignites, goes a little bit dim, and then goes throughout the entire body, and then also causes the lights to light up, assuming it's some sort of security measure to make it hard for me to be sneaky and harder to escape. Also, Lacey is detecting the unmistakable side effects of you are seeing this same unstable presence of the Callisto energy source in him that you spot, that it's very similar to what you see in Cobalt. Um, a lot of it, it's a little, this one is a little yeah. more, this is a lot more erratic, not quite as defined, which would make sense since Cobalt was on the receiving end of the Callisto 6 power source, though out, just out of range from the blast radius. And if he's claiming to be C5, it could be a different energy formula, so to speak, but it, it is very similar. There's an instability there that seems to have some sort of effect on him when he uses his powers. Uh, brain damage, like memory stuff and... Yeah, basically there are, um, when the speed, the speed is activated, um, it's basically a minor stroke. So no short-term memory is created whatsoever. Mm. Um, and you're great amnesia. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Um, well, it doesn't look like the stasis did you any harm. It looks like the Callisto 5 energy did a lot, but I think you probably know that. 
Um, Wait, what kind of harm? Well, you know how they said that Callisto 6 was the first time that Dr. Patel got it to be fully stable? Oh. Uh, yeah. So we're okay? Um, I mean, to the extent that we're okay. Uh, some of us have had instability problems. Yeah. But, uh, I killed a few rats. I think that's C4. That. (laughs) (laughs) Do you want me to take those out? The, The ones that they put in you for the experimental purposes? I can do that. I can deactivate them. You're not a project anymore. You, if you want to try, just be careful. I'm very, very, very careful. Speaking of, what? I'm not going to call you CV127KQ, whatever. What is like, what do we should? We, what uh, do you want to be called? They were calling me Synapse, Project Synapse. Synapse. Uh, no. Okay. I don't know. Uh, Snaps. 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 <laughs> you are very. You're snap. snappy. That's a. Oh, that'll work. Snaps. I like that. All right, right. snaps. Welcome. Let's uh, get you some food or something, I guess. Well, Lacey does. I come back with just a bowl of Chex Mix. Never mind. Of Cheetos and things from the fridge that maybe don't have allergen things in them. So, this yeah. food. This food is. So, upon seeing it, you remember seeing people eat food like this, but yours was always a nutrient paste that was fed through you. Um. So, eating this is. I'll let you. You you have the narrative on that, like how how Synapse food. takes to that. Oh, it's weird. Sorry. Oh, it's the very dry. Mm. not done yet. Oh, it's. Ow, ow. You gotta use your saliva. Oh, oh, oh yeah. You gotta chew it. Or, mm. or something. I'm just gonna take the whole bowl. Okay. Ow. What? what? Mm. It's, it's just chicks mix, man. What's it? Oh. Hey, some people are picking teeth. up a food, oh. and that's okay. I guess he hasn't eaten in like nine years, so. It's really Gordon. Ow. Okay, mm. good. Ow. Well, yeah, cap- it's kind of like the Captain Crunch, you know, like um, the roof of your mouth just. Or I don't. You probably have an idea. Roll on those implants. Sure. Um, fine. What's that? Should I roll on those implants? There's really I'll no. Be right point. back. Um. Yeah, I would put the. I would. I would put that as a fit. I mean, with your training. It's rough. It's rough. Can we get him some yeah, no, I would say. With I, the, I would say, say it's. I would say, cyber, like going through cybernetics, I would say it was a challenging role. However, it is going to be a full. This is going to be. An, you're going to need to lay him down on the table, and it's going to take like an hour to remove all of them. That's perfect. That's enough time for us to fill him in as best we can. So yeah, okay. here's what here's what we can tell you, Snaps. You see that lovely lady over there? That's Oya, and she's got a really cool power. You picked I my pocket before. Down. Thank you. Yeah, give the wallet back. <laughs> he did. I yeah. did. We didn't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> So she can effectively tell the future. And she told us that you were gonna be our ally. So welcome to the team. <laughs> ally means like a friend, like a helper friend. Oh yeah, no, I I, I think Ian. Okay. Ally. I mean, you're obviously not a fan of Fletcher Kraus, so uh, join the club. <laughs> we have t-shirts. T-shirts. I can make t-shirts. Oh, Sam, bit of information for you since you did a scan and you're also getting information on those cybernetic implants. He was reaching speeds upward to 200 miles per hour when he was running. <laughs> That's why I couldn't catch him. Nice. Oh, okay. wow. That's fast. He was, and, and what's a lot, what's, what's, Mind bending is he was instantaneously accelerating and decelerating. Right. That's that's the yeah. cool part. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay. It's all the cool part because wait, what is that? physics or not really behaving when he moves. I, <laughs> so oh, it's, the things <laughs> I have with the Callisto energy source and physics. <laughs> yeah. Wait. So Lacey, what does it mean? Instantaneously accelerating and decelerating? I, yeah. Y- it takes time. You know, you increase velocity over time. That's how speed. Yeah. And objects in motion to hit that velocity seemingly instantaneously to the point at least I can't find like a stepwise increment small enough is is kind of the cool what. There's a lot of the cool what. Um your whole metabolic system is just a lot of what. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it's uh that's what I'm told. So I wish I could be more help, but I've never actually experienced super speed, so. I mean, well, you just Um, did. um, I black out before it happens, and then I wake up after it's finished. Oh. I've never actually, I don't actually remember ever moving at that speed. Oh, that sucks. Okay. I leave, come back, 
and, and drop a pile of clothes in front of you from the many experiments. Um, Holy in, shit! In case you I wanted think. to change, in case it's been. Nine I'm gonna years run in and start. Try, I'm just gonna try everything oh, good. on. Good. <laughs> no, make you rain. And then I'm done. Okay. Well. He just notices you're gone. Oh. <laughs> uh, you come back dressed as. Uh, I, I just tried it all on. I didn't actually keep one on. <laughs> okay. Or, you can choose later. Yeah. I don't remember trying any of them on. Uh, you don't remember which ones you liked. No. It's, Should we try again, maybe slower? Uh, I'll have to be less excited once I've, okay. once I've calmed down. It was just, wow, I've, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll. We can take pictures, then you'll remember. Mm-hmm. That's not a bad um, idea. So can we have spent that hour that it took Lacey to examine him to like, yes. tell him everything? Who so happened? in the next hour, oh. this is what happens. Oh. Next, yes. In yeah. the next hour, you guys spend some time, plus you're also getting close to the time where you, you need to sort of get back to real life so everyone knows, you know. Because right now it still hasn't, y'all hasn't technically broken it to the public yet. It still hasn't really happened yet. Um, it's been whispered and then the movement is growing, but so the, 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 the folks and whatnot still not fully aware, only, only moderately aware that their family members were up to some shenanigans that they're not being told about. Um, but in that hour, <coughs> um, you managed to catch him up on pretty much the experiences you've all had and what you've done. The encounters you've had, your encounters with Kylan, your encounters with the new Kylan, the reveal of the Fletcher. So you know that there is, so now, Synapse, you know that there is another clone that actually seems to be working against Fletcher as well. But they leave out some gaps. There's apparently some stuff they don't know as they're telling the story. Um, and about an hour passes just as Lacey pops off that last piece of cybernetic. You never felt your skin without them before. So as you're kind of fletch, stretching, you, you, it feels strangely good, but kind of itchy too at the same time, like your skin is fresh and a little raw from where they've been plucked off of you. I, uh, thank you. Um, I, uh, antihistamine cream if it starts itching. <laughs> Not used to that. That's a. Uh... We have to stop, f- stop Fletcher. Uh, it's yeah. more dangerous than you could possibly know. And I. What? What? What does that mean? How can it be more? <laughs> Seems pretty yeah, dangerous already. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna build something. I'll be back. Okay. Fletcher's. Fletcher's complicated. I'm trying. I'm trying to. Uh, I don't know how to describe this. I've never had to. There are many clones. I definitely know I'm not the first. I wasn't even the first clone that they experimented in in the C5 project. Um, there were many others. Some were elevated. Some less so. But we all feel Fletcher. You feel him? Wait, what? You mean like some kind of connection? Or, I mean, is it like how we can feel each other? <sighs> can you tell when he's in danger? Or... Do you know, you know that feeling when you walk into a room and you don't remember why you walked in? Yeah, yep. It's his room, and sometimes you just realize that you've done something, and you've done something that was just meant to be done. And sometimes it's strong and sometimes less. (sighs) Hops, your old cell phone. My tablet, sorry. Begins to buzz. Oh, crap. You see your mom's. Thanks for getting the reception fixed. Okay. Hey, Ma. Hobbs, honey, baby, where are you right now? Uh, I'm working. What's what's up? You've got to come home. You're not going to believe who's here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll be right there. I'm I'm just about finished. Okay. See you soon, sweetie. You're not going to believe this. I can't wait till you see. Click. Okay, that was weird. Everything okay? Wow. Yeah, uh, I think I better go. My mom called me, which is rare in itself. What's but up? How's she, how's she doing? What's going on? She's doing fine. She said that we had company, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe my 
Aunt Susan's in town or something. I don't know. Surprise visit. I don't know. Uh, so I guess I should go. Mm, okay, it could be Aunt Susan or it could be any number of the people that are after us. Lindy, or like, what are you? I mean, house? true, but did you get, did she tell she you? She didn't who? tell me. She just said I had to get home. We had company. She could be in danger. You should probably call her back. Oh, okay. Find out who it is. It rings. Hmm. And rings. And rings. And then it goes to the generic voicemail. The wireless customer you have called. I need to change that. (laughs) (laughs) Shouldn't answer, so I guess. Okay, let's go. Start gathering things. All right. We're all moving out together, right? We'll text her. See if she she was just. My mom doesn't text. Hey, Ma, heading. We should still probably get ready. Oh, I'm, no. I haven't stopped okay. packing, collecting old in and out bags. I hold up one garment. Yes? No? Yes? Do you have any? Favorite color? Favorite? You're not going to find a suit like this one, trust me. It's, 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 I really like that. Kind. I know, I know. But yeah. he kind of needs to keep it on to keep his body all um, picking things I don't have funding like that. Actually, Lacey, in the background, you're hearing conversations between Honey and oh, Sweet Baby. I have honey an idea. Is accepting, have something. Honey is accepting commands from Sweet Baby <laughs> I have right an idea. now. And so Honey is constantly just moving back and forth across the room and dismantling and putting back together like certain, and just doing some basic repairs on itself from the fight. So Loom is picking up as I'm, well, try, I'm trying I, to tinker and like I, finish my tinker and, in and, time. And standing like face to face as this I've, is happening. Yeah, I've stopped picking stuff up and now I'm cycling through my hologram thing because I've made all those clothes. Oh, so yeah, I know what right, they right, look right, like. Right. So I'm co- like randomizing combos of outfits, just being like, just let me know when you see something. Yeah, the yeah, the, two back, two back, two back. <laughs> okay, two back. What am I wearing? <laughs> uh, it's kind of um, red and black. It's very superhero y. It's got some like. <laughs> Color and it's got a whole bunch of stuff. It's it's very superhero. All the cool kids are down. Yeah, it's a okay. big it's a big bright colorful I ridiculous. Dig in thing. the piles. Pull that out. Uh, here you go. Meanwhile, not, not, not a few feet away from with like a multicolor shirt. No, not not a, yeah, two of us can have the same. Not a few feet away from Luma. Uh, honey has come into the room and <laughs> Sal has turned to Honey and going, "It's a prototype." And, oh, no. and baby and, and and Honey's just staring <laughs> like straight ahead. Just Sal, Honey Bee doesn't have coffee. No coffee. Thank you. So I think um, we have enough coffee. You're so sweet. More coffee. No, no honey. No. no more coffee, okay? Okay. We gotta give him something else to do. I get up and snaps his face at, at some point just to be like, look, Oya vouches for you and I will always trust her and Luma apparently forgives you and I've been known to have a few outbursts myself. But no more of that shit. You're the smart one. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> yep. We're all the smart one. That's what I've been saying. Are we? Snaps. Oh, look, you want to see what she can I, do? I crush your hand a little. Yeah, I, I was like, you want to see? grip on that yeah. thing. <laughs> I was like, you want to see what she can do? I hand you the crowbar. Make a poodle. Dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> Not the artist. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Oya and Luma. Everyone here is great. Stop hurting them. So Don't what's funny what is, like. as, as it, so you know, you see how Amy's crowbar. just kind of half committed, kind of flailing about. That's actually what Cass does, and uh-huh. the crowbar obeys. <laughs> sort of she it has like five it. legs. It's <laughs> not great. Okay. Dysfunctional worm. Close enough. Okay, can we go? <laughs> yeah. Um, I owe you guys. I finished it. Um, I used tinker on an object. Oh, uh, okay. I have the tinker ability to make something into something. Right. I just crafted a little thing. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, yeah. Did you finish? Um, so I thought maybe if there were a camera with a really fast shutter speed uh, that was tied to your uh, to an accelerometer, then it could take pictures and then it could feed you the video back so you'd be able to remember. So basically one of these old glass units that people usually put on that are not the super advanced wristband to eye thing, you basically, they hand you this sort of glasses monitor. So the moment you put practice. it on, <laughs> It should be able to play back what you did. You also connect to all of them and you see it go Except for me. Except for hops. Sorry. Always one. All right, let's try it out. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make a run around the entire the entire office. <laughs> um, the clothes that Luma's putting back just <laughs> <laughs> and she's getting <laughs> 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 um, What's what's alarming is is now without those lights on him, you can't really see him moving. He's just <laughs> and he comes back to a stop, and you do a replay. 
Um, it's had to be in real time, so it is slow. Yeah, and as as it's coming back to you, it looks unreal. I'm Lacey. Hi, Lacey. And that's what they do. <laughs> this is cool. Uh, check it out, and I'll I'll let Lacey see it. I I just I I pull from oh. the feed. Oh, yeah. You can keep that. <laughs> um. <laughs> Well, this case snaps, doesn't know, yeah? it's an So, Lacey, it's difficult to process even with your mind because his mind moves so fast. It, even even though you're used to com, like communicating with computers who move at incredible like light speeds, um, the processing power in order to see to witness what he witnesses when he moves, you are going to need to actually you are going to have to formulate it would take long software to break down piece by piece what you're seeing into something that can be translated because you just see disjointed images of reality flying around yeah um so i can frame by frame and pull some keyframes yeah and but. from the reaction that he gives you when he hands these glasses back he's actually processing everything he's seeing yeah so you have to enable in order to react in real time you have Correct. to be able to see the thing that you're running around the corner. It's kind of like uh, when you touch your hand on the stove and then you pull it back before you realize you're supposed to pull your hand back because it was hot. Sure. With your eyes. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. What they said. So, um, are we packed? I want to go home. Uh-huh. I'm standing with like three bags. Um, okay, but we can't like fly the ship right in front of my ma. Like of a ship? Oh yeah, we got one of Her name's <laughs> Amelia. <laughs> what I'm saying is like, if y'all could just, you know, drop me off a little bit of ways, and yeah, we'll, maybe. we'll bust it. Um, right. Snaps, where do you want to go? Um, you can come back to Roth City, right? Oh yeah, definitely. I, I want to stay with you guys. I have a funny feeling that it's the best and quickest way to Fletcher. I mean, uh, cool. <laughs> um, so Hop, we'll, can you use backup? I think we should all go together. I don't I'm know. just saying, I don't want my ma to be like, you know, if it is, like what I'm saying, if it yeah. is something that I need, I need you all for, yes, I want you there, but if it's my Aunt Susan having like six okay. uniting okay. guests at the how same about, time. How about, I'm good with that. Your mom knows so, me. That's true. I've been over, over, so that's good. Okay. I can or come like in with you or and like stay close, and maybe I can give yeah. you like a symbol. A I, well, I, we'll figure out what we'll come with you. Lima will send us a signal through your glasses. All right, yep. Let's but get on Amelia. Were you so going to drop by home or something? Um, I think we're school busing this, so I think it's hops first. Okay. Amelia, you're a school bus now. Mm. Um, we've installed a lift, so I don't have to deal with that ladder bullshit anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so basically as you're coming up to the ladder, um, the poles for the ladder themselves just go <laughs> and this lo lift lowers down. Um, which everyone, if they feel the need to take, can. And um, one by one, you all load into a submersible that is also a dropship. Honeybee, come with us. <laughs> it swoop. You watch Honeybee reach down and pick up Sweet Baby and just <laughs> slide it into the chassis. And it goes. <laughs> and you. <laughs> online. Following Operator Lacey. <laughs> follows after you guys. Well, designation probably friendly. <laughs> Confirmed. Designation friendly. She said probably. Hey, come on. I'm sorry. Modification. Variable. His name is Snaps. Snaps. Hello, possible friendly Snaps. This is Honeybee. Hello, possible friendly Honeybee. <laughs> cool. Oh, that's new. <laughs> yeah, Honeybee just settles down onto the chairs as the dropship just... Sweet babes, my co-pilot. Um, ballasts begin to empty as the dropship approaches the surface and you all feel the, j the jostling motion as you break through the surface of the water. It's just in time to see seagulls scattering to the skies as y'all break through. Um, Seawater splashing up onto the cockpit window and then... Taking off and... So we're going to cut to inside the apartment in one of these megaplexes, just outside the upper scale areas of Los Angeles and into the more, yeah, we make a living blue collar areas where most of us live in real life. Um, you enter into the hallways and uh, are approaching the door of Hops' apartment. Um, Luma, you, uh, now I'm guessing you were all following, but you're all hanging back and right. Luma's going okay. out first. Yeah. Okay, so okay. are you you or are you? 
Uh, it was the two of us. Go. Okay. I'm going as myself so that Hops' mom recognizes okay. me. You open the door, uh, thumbprint, <laughs> door opens up. Like, Ma, uh, I have compass. company with me. Oh, come in, sweetie. It's Luma. Remember Luma? Of course, of course. Come in, come in. Okay. Um, you see your mom appear in the yeah. in the in the like hallway when she goes. Come yeah. in. What is it? Is it Aunt Susan or what? Hi. I uh, we've got a special guest, and as you oh, guys watch. Oh, surprises! Tell me. Um, and I want to like hold on to her. She goes. I hate surprises. I'm so bad at them. Well, One then you can I wait here, leave. and then she can tell you. But this is my surprise, and this is exciting. Come on. Um, I'll I'll you know. If you want to guess this thing, I'll let you Don't know. Don't worry. Okay, I'll be right behind you. What okay. is wrong with you two? Come Nothing. on. Nothing. Okay. Luma, Luma it's us. Yeah. Remember the code okay. word. If okay. it's trouble and you need backup, just say shit. See, so around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> that that won't be hard to remember. <laughs> <laughs> won't be hard to remember. So you around the corner with your mom, the living room, VR set up and rig and everything. Yep. Sitting in one of the chairs with a cup of tea in his hand is Kylan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, he's <laughs> sitting... As he sees you walk in, he goes, oh, hello. And he uh. puts the cup down and slowly stands up and says, good to see you again. Shit, 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 flex, and I'm throwing flex into the house basically at full speed. Oh, God. Flex? What? Oh, okay. My mom doesn't know! Uh, so, Guess so what? you hear shit, 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 shit. It's already. You feel fingers on your shoulders, and then you're in the living room. I'm gonna grab. Oh, flex. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who's flex? <laughs> and so, so it takes a few moments, but as this happens, you literally see the Kylan, that, as you know, is Fletcher, go, like, jump as you all start appearing in the living room. <laughs> Ma, go to the bedroom. What the hell is Ma, going on? Go to the bedroom. No, uh, this is my house, and I wanna know what's going she's on. She's in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> The door slams closed. Yep. Oh, what Whoa. the fuck? Sorry, Mrs. Mrs. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Where'd you put her? And I've got back down. Oh, fuck. Uh, and Fletcher is standing there just going, oh. I'm God. taking Fletcher's wallet and going to the other room to look at it. Um, So it's not a wallet. It's it's what it is is it, it looks like a small, um, I would say like a leather sleeve where all of his passcode cards are. Oh, that's good. And he's gone. He doesn't know it's gone. No, I'm um, just in the other so room going through it. All of his pyramid star Slow. passcodes. Okay. okay. All right, put those on and record all of that. <laughs> oh, aren't they on? Yeah, they yeah, are. They are. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. making him do it um, in real time. Uh, you just see him going. Uh, when I find myself inside, I start running straight. Out. What are you doing in my house? Uh, okay, so oh, Cass yeah. is running straight at him as you're asking this. What's happening? Oh, I think we need to roll initiative. <laughs> right? You, you, no, this is not combat. If Cass is going to go at him, mm -hmm. he's going to get gotten. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So. It, it, so Cass, okay, so no one's, all right, Wait, so Cass, Cass, you run no, at him, what are you doing? No, no, <laughs> I mean, I, we stop, I Cass? stop her, I try to stop yeah. her. I mean, Kim. Okay, if you're gonna try to stop her. Cass, Ooh. now it's an initiative roll. Oh, you can. well, no, I, I'm not rolling in. I just, it's him, he's here! I know, but let's just hear what he has to say for two seconds before well. we beat his face in. Uh, <laughs> and you all what turn you, back yeah. to him, and he's just Again. standing there going like, what are you doing in my house? Yes, I'm prepared to answer that question. Um, Can you do it, please? I'm sorry, I've just never seen you do that before. That's new. We're full of surprises. Talk. Yeah. Um. I. <laughs> I need protection. <laughs> Well, you saw it, you're not gonna get it from us, and you don't bring yourself to, no, no, no. Wait, from whom? Uh, from, and then he stops and stares at you and goes, who are you? Nobody, keep talking. Just no. no, who is that? You don't get to ask you, the questions You here. see, he stops, you see some rationale begin to leave him as fear lights up and he goes, no, who is that? You should know who that is. What? Who are you? You don't have to say anything. Who are you? Are you him? Are you it? Okay, what? Fletcher? <laughs> 
I still have the tattoo on my face. You're another one. He didn't respond to Fletcher. It's not an exclusive club. I thought you would know that by now. I've just never seen you before. Yeah, well, I don't get out much. I'm I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be rude. I seen a ghost. (laughs) Um. Narrow this down, which asshole are you? Are you the real one, or the father one, or the clone, a clone one? How much do you know? A lot. Not all of it. But assume we know everything and just remind us. <sighs> he reaches down and takes the cup of tea and downs all of it and says, very well, sets it back down and says, probably best that we don't stay here though, I think. What are you even doing here? I didn't know where to find you. He's trying to Have you ever met us before? Of course. I gave you an ultimatum which you all declined, and now my life is in danger. From oh, yeah, from whom? Home. From whom? It's probably best we don't talk here. Why? Why? Where is good to talk? Somewhere where you don't want anyone you care about. In the vicinity, I suspect. Why? I'm being hunted. By who? By who? By nice, her. Guys. Wait, it's by her. her. Oh. Okay, drop ship. Yeah, this place might be bugged. Bring him, bring him. Never had the place bugged. I was true to my word on that. Yeah. Drop ship. Drop ship. What is that? He's gone. Oh. <laughs> 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 to be right. fair, I also wanted to point out that I now have everything that was in his wallet in my pocket, and I don't remember taking it. <laughs> Excellent. Cool. And he doesn't know you took it. Nope. <laughs> it's on video. Uh-huh. So I'm it's gonna not even. It's vaguely on video. There's a vague video of the, it. The, the target That's number so is so ridiculous. There's no point in having you make that roll. That's an auto success. <laughs> yep. So, um, so we're gonna cut back to you guys. Your mother's screaming. Yeah. Hops, what the hell is going on? Okay. Uh, I'll meet you guys in the dropship. Give me two minutes with my mom. Just let me. Do you need any help? Mm-hmm. No. I you sure? It's my mash. She'll be fine. I'm just gonna tell her to plug back in. She'll be great. Okay. okay. All right. I'll be quick. Okay. okay. I'm gonna get Just back. Just don't leave without me. No. Do, no. Does your mom have like a bridge club or somewhere she can go tonight that isn't the house? No. I think she'll be fine. Okay. Good idea. Yeah. All right. I don't know. Maybe I can suggest her go visit Aunt Susan because that obviously she's not here. All right. I'll be there quick. Okay. Let me just explain something to her. Okay, you go to the door. As it's, everyone's building out. It's my new drama club, Ma. We were acting out a play. So make a roll. <laughs> come on. I believe in you. Lindy, come on. What's Lindy. the difficulty of that <laughs> now? Uh, She's had a few. She might have been a right, little exactly. disappointed. Roll, roll for parental disappointment. Difficulty is going to be, <laughs> I'm going to say difficulty is four. Okay. Do so, you have anything that'll help? No, no. I'm going to put it at five. Why did, what? Luma. Yeah, I'm putting it at five. She was subjected to a superpower. <laughs> yep. Okay. You're going to have to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe her. Chaos. Calm her down. I'm going to use an XP. I'm you to the mix, but that's <laughs> oh. even better. No, I'm bad you at roll? detecting. Oh, yeah. So. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to use this. Um, so, first of all, don't. Now don't. Don't adjust that XP. I'm going to give you all one XP for discovering the pod and making information. Because remember, again, just to reiterate, in Cypher, you're rewarded for discovery and exploration and not for combat. So I'm using, uh, I'm lowering it down to four. If you discover what the monster's insides look like. Fuck! That's discovery. That did not work. Okay. And I said it bad. Where no one has gone before. Well, that was dumb. Oh. Oh. It's my new drama club, Ma. We were putting on a play. You open this goddamn door right I, now. I opened the door. You open the door and she's... What the hell? Okay, so remember the nose where everyone was like getting rescued off the tower and stuff? Okay, that was me and my friends. We got these powers. Don't tell anybody. Just put yourself back. Go play your game, Ma. What the hell are you talking about? What news? Oh. Okay, um, so I'm part of a new film AV club, and we were testing out some of the special effects. We had a wind machine, we had some lights. You felt it, huh? Did it feel real? It was really cool, huh? And we're trying, it's a new VR thing. We're trying to make uh, virtual reality reality. Lindy, so, what? Are you under the impression I am a complete stupid asshole? <laughs> No, Ma. You're very smart. I'm just trying to explain Then it why didn't way. you tell me the truth? And where did he go? I technically did, but... Handsome man comes into my apartment for the first time in years, and he magically disappears after all your friends show up. Ma, that was... 
guys, I made my ear all big on the door. <laughs> And I'm like, it's not going well. It's not going well. It's not going well. It's not going well. Um, okay, Ma. Uh, can we maybe talk Should about this later? There? Maybe. It, no. Uh, it was parents. That yeah. was just to encourage her. I know. One of Dad's old work colleagues, obviously, and I met him during the big convention where I did the the speech and and, and accepted the award from Dad and whatever. So he must have been coming to pay his condolences to you. Whatever. Just explain it to me later. Okay. I've got a raid in 30 minutes, and I'm not going to be late to that. All right, Ma, get it. I'm going to go lay down, because I don't remember leaving the living room. <laughs> it, was a, it was a lot happening. She goes in. <laughs> She's got you close She's the got door. She's got a raid. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Everything's good. All right, I just come back yes. out to everyone and go, okay, so uh, I told my Ma the truth, and but she didn't believe me. And also, Kylan leans forward and goes, she didn't take it well. She stopped talking. We're, at, we're, at, we're a drama club from now on, all right, everybody? No, Just go with that. No. I don't know. What am I going to tell my mom? We'll, we'll talk about it later. Okay. There is an assassin capable of killing all of us that's hunting me right now. I guess back he to this. He is not wrong. Okay, okay well, everyone is on Amelia, so. Do we have any rope for we this are guy? Not, we are not taking him. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you want to do a cut to the dropship? Yeah. yeah. Where are you guys headed? Are you going back to Blue Dolphin? No, Race? Not, are you, I'm not lot. taking him down there. Parking Where do you want to go? That you've got parking. two parking safe lot. houses. Parking you've got lot. two safe houses and out in the open, the parking lot. Okay, we, have a, cool. two, we have two safe houses? Technically, you have two safe houses. Oh. Um, you, have, you have... No, I don't want to bring no. him anywhere to give our other crows mm. an idea. We park like, underwater in a random part of the yeah. ocean, so aerial patrols won't see us. Yeah. There won't be... We'll be IR shielded. Yeah. And uh, it won't That's be a direct location. As y'all are submerging, it's a Santa Monica Mall available. It's an hour later, and as y'all are submerging, Kylan is man. Fletcher, I should say, is leaning up against the side, holding on and watching this thing going right. submerged. And he's like, "I don't remember install having any of these installed with an amphibious mode. This is impressive. It's uh, this is embarrassing, but um, as Lacey suggested with their eyeballs, I have turned into ropes, and I'm surrounding him. Oh, okay. It just comes up like, yeah, buddy. There's a lot of stuff apparently you don't remember. Yeah, and I have my I have my staff, and I'm just constant. I'm just waiting for him to make a ro any kind of move. Okay, Pops he's, he's gonna get shot. He is completely yeah. <laughs> he is completely like, wrapped up yeah. in in Anton right now. Is all huh? Tech check. He's got glasses on, but they're not connected. Okay. And can I do a? Can I he just do like a time shenanigan scan on him to see, similar like I did with Jerome Blair, to see if he's in the right timeline, or not Jerome, but the other Kylan, see if he's in the right timeline. Like, is he the person? Oh, you want to make sure that this isn't some kind of time shenanigan yeah. taking place? Yes, you can totally do that. Okay. That's Wait, thing that um, other people other than you can engage in time shenanigans? Well, I just mean like if he's. Yeah. I don't know. If you can do it. Well, I mean, come on, if there's any right. weird bumps in his timeline, like this person was was frozen for nine years, I gotcha. could probably see that if I did it. He's time. very gotcha. bumpy. It's not <laughs> just kind of a timeline. Yeah, you want to get that look down. Oh, I didn't ask. That's you. okay. The difficulty is four. Oh. Oh, I got a 17. And I have a, a one shift down, so yeah. three. Yeah, so I got it. Okay, yeah, you got it. No, you don't detect anything. There's nothing temporal about anything that's going on with him right now. Okay. Are you going to tell them about the girl? Do we How much do you know exactly? Is he kind of wrapped up in Anton? He's kind of cocks his head. I know a lot. People, people talk in front of you if they don't think you're ever going anywhere. Where did they keep? You were in the Cassium lab, weren't you? I think I'm finally beginning to understand you. Have you ever been to the lab? A few times, a long time ago. Do you remember C5? I don't think I remember you. Yes, I do. I thought you were dead. Apparently not. It's hard to keep track of which ones of us haven't been killed. Do you feel it? Yes. Feel how, what? How are you fighting? I suppose that's going to be part of what I talked to you about, but it's going to be particularly pertinent to you, I suspect. Less planning to talk, more talking! Well, to lead into what we were going to say, I think I should tell you that our generation of clones starting with what would have been my replacement has become less and less capable of receiving the, the avatar state, as it were, <laughs> the instructions from the central mind, as it were. Do you know why? No. Only that it's begun to degrade, and that's why she has been watching us. How long ago? 
I think it must have begun when he, my predecessor vanished suddenly, and then was killed during an attempted escape when he was rediscovered. That's when I came in and replaced him. Oh, uh, when was that? Years ago, why? Okay. Oh no, he's talking about your guy. Yeah. yeah. He's absolutely when talking he about your guy. assumed control he's of dead. Pyramid Star. And let's not convince him otherwise. Um, She's got to be very unhappy about that. Is it? Is it with with her now? Is that what what's happened? Where? My connection is very thin. Uh, whatever it is that I do makes me difficult. Yes. Mostly yes. Oh, I suppose this is as good a time as any to bring you all in on what we're talking about. Yeah. yeah what thank is it? you. Yeah. She has what? She is Oniko? There is no woman named Oniko. The thing that I refer to is Oniko. They are a vessel, like in many ways the rest of us, except uh, she is the one that is, how do I say? Better suited. Faster! It's difficult to describe. Better, better suited as an avatar. Um, I think it was a series done specifically to get around these sort of complications. Essentially, the central consciousness of Fletcher Krauss implants himself inside of clones. You seem to know a little bit about of this, but it's not a uh, possession per se. It's more of a, would you call it an impression, I suppose? State of mind. State of mind. Something. It's a mistake to treat it like a person. If you think of it like a person, you'll keep thinking that you've won. It's not a person, it's an idea. So wait, what you're trying to say is that you're a pawn in all this too? Anyone who Both looks like me is a pawn in all of this. The only difference is, is those of us who have been groomed to take over, we don't know or have the ability to have a problem with that. It's even an assumption to even think we would all look the same. Oh no, it's very true. The clones do not all look like us. In fact, I believe you had one incarcerated and thrown into prison recently. <gasps> the and consciousness of Fletcher Krauss has been embedded upon all of its main operatives. And if I am the face of corporate Los Angeles, the woman you know of Oniko is the tactical mind and the executor of corporate Los Angeles. And in many ways, it would be a, accurate to call her my handler. Are you the face right now? I was, but unfortunately I cost Fletcher the Callisto 6 power source when it fled from Cassium, and that led to me trying to bargain to get it back, which also failed, and then Cassium Lab was broken into, apparently you were stolen, data was retrieved, and it has been exposed across mass media, now affecting Measure Z, which will be going up for vote in 18 hours or so. I am a dead man. Whoop. But... Pyramid, I mean, there's a possibility Pyramid could fall. The whole thing could, could, could fall apart now if the right, if the right avatars are taken out, if the right, it's landing points for the consciousness are dealt there's with. No way. It's there's possible. No way. These corporations are too big to fail. Los Angeles isn't going to let that happen. Anything can be killed. I've to... nothing like this has ever happened before. This is the first time a clone that did not resemble you and I has assumed control of the corporation. So you're saying Oniko now is a clone? Always was. Oniko has grown in a lab. She is designed to be the enforcer. She never had a personality of her own. She was inserted with cybernetics so that she could withhold as much of the Fletcher psych psychic presence, if you will, as possible. She is more he than any of us. So you're all impressions of Fletcher? We are not, but that's complicated. What's the central mind? Oh yeah, and can I punch it? And where is it? How do we stop the central mind? If we can stop that, can we stop all of the... There, there is, you're, you're thinking of it the wrong way. There is no central mind. You just said it. Where are those points that could it's fall apart? It's the best way to explain about? it. It's the best way to help people understand. Okay. It's how does the point of gravity. How do you get the Fletcher impression? What is it? It's given to you when you are grown in a tube. The voice in the back what? of your head. We are vessels, and we are made to execute its will. 
Okay, great. You, Dr. Jerome, Oniko, how many more are there? How, like. <laughs> He's not wrong. Many of us are not told. Look, a lot of us have been told we're tiny cogs in a big machine. We're finding out things don't always go the way they think they will. So figure out where we can start hurting it, and we'll do that. Oniko's a big part of it now. If if that's what's happening, that would hurt. It would hurt a lot. I don't know what happens next. The next clone will likely not be brought online. If I have messed up as hard as I have, if you are a problem, and my predecessor was a failure, they'll likely remove this model, as it were, from the lineup and start installing a new version. Oniko is interim CEO of Pyramid Star now. I have no idea what she will do. She was not designed to be the face of the company. She was always designed to be <laughs> the jailer, if you will to whoever it was to appear to run the company. No, she's both. We are often optimized. Where, so, wait, where are the clones produced? That's... Don't I do know. not know. That's are, we need to find out, then. There are many things. Just as you could ask he and I where mm-hmm. Fletcher is, we couldn't tell you except everywhere and nowhere, which is... So what you're saying is to finally overcome this massive conspiracy that we've discovered, is that we would need to round up all of these vessels, but there's no way for us to track who a vessel even is, right? Because they don't all look like him. And they haven't been activated, and there's some kind of a factory or something somewhere still making them, and there is some super intelligent they or them that doesn't actually exist that we can't go and beat up. Now you kind of get an idea of why I was so smug when you were all threatening me. (laughs) It's a virus. You can't necessarily kill a virus off, you can't wipe it off the Full face shit. of the earth, yeah, but you, you can, can, yeah, you can suppress it. You can put it down. You can eradicate viruses. We can vaccinate. Honestly, can I'll vaccinate. help any way I can. I just need your protection. You want to be kept alive when this is all done. Yes. Yeah, I still hate you. You're the yeah. reason we're all in this mess to begin with. Dr. Patel is the reason you're in this mess. What happened to her family? Where's Dr. Patel? Dr. Patel has died. Oniko had her executed. That settles that. Yeah, sorry, I think we may have told you while you were super speed. I do not know where her family is. Only that they vanished. Do you care? I don't know how to explain this, but why would I care? Yeah, I'm done with him. In the relevancy of things, I was programmed to be the face of a major multinational corporation in order to deliver a master plan that would ultimately conquer blah, 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 blah. How do we- We all got choices and you're choosing continued shithead. Hold on. You don't understand. How do we deprogram? Can we deprogram you? Is there a way, like, I I get that what you're saying, that you're not really in control of your own actions, if you're being controlled by some, whatever, evil puppet master. I've always appreciated your idealism. You can't deprogram the program unless you wish to delete it. You could, as only co plans to do, kill me, and that would solve the problem. So, how come you care whether you live or die, then? I honestly don't know. That's easy. He's an evil genius. Evil geniuses like to live. It's what they do. He's just no longer their evil genius. He's just an evil genius for hire. I have- Who will be dead from the other evil genius if something doesn't get done. And it's all coming from the same evil genius. <laughs> it's kind of twisted, really. Yeah. I can't believe I wanted to be you. I can't believe I wanted a job from you. What's more disturbing is when you finally understand that it's not me, that there was never a me. It's just, there's nothing else there. There's no other person. That's not how we're built. It's just an idea. Just ideas. The only exception to the rule would apparently have been my predecessor, but that was put down very quickly. And I got disconnected from the main line the minute that the powers kicked in. This is like some kind of Borg shit. Wait, 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 wait. I've seen that show. I don't know, it's some classic thing. If you got disconnected when you got powers, maybe we can, maybe we can Give him powers? Some kind no. of list of no. Thank you, no. No, I'm thank you. Powers. <laughs> I'm quite fine without them. It, but no, it means that there's 
a mechanism because no matter how much Callisto tries to be break physics, you don't break physics, it's the law, that means that there's something that can interrupt whatever the thing is. That and there can be, be comparisons and samples and science. That what about the vaccination? I can just interject here. Everything you're saying sounds quite magnificent, but the woman you know is Oniko is an exception to the rule. She is the closest thing to Fletcher than has ever existed. She is cold. She is his will. It's not even accurate to call it a he, really. It's, what a, it's the queen bee. Whatever Fletcher is or was has evolved into something completely detached from whatever it used to be. It's a consciousness now. We call it Fletcher because it gets quite confusing calling each other Kylan. <laughs> So Oniko is the closest to the source of whatever it is that it made us what we are and has made us enact our will. It sounds like you're trying to tell us that we need to go after her. Yeah. Huh? I don't Wait, care what you do with her, to be honest. No, no, I, I please misunderstand. I'm giving you information because I want to be kept away from her. If you wish to go after her, you do so at your own risk. She is horrifying <laughs> and powerful. Do you feel other, other yous? Do you feel them? Yes, yes. I know that there Just are Oniko. others. Yes. No, there are others, yes. No, I know, does she, do you know if she can feel them? Will I don't Oniko know. know where you are? I would assume. She functions differently than the rest of okay. us. That's true. So I could not tell you. But there are multiple right now. We saw some. Do they ever make a bunch? No, of Oniko offer? has a, <laughs> Oniko uses a, uh, a device that allows her to multiply images of herself. It causes mass confusion in combat. It's a sort of a hardened light source. <laughs> and then she moves with speed that is beyond human. Like Not quite as fast as you, my friend. How come you didn't gamble with me? Okay. She's too smart for that. Okay. Okay. How do we disconnect you from the hive? Will an electric... Jolt? I'm not connected to a hive mind. Think of me as a footprint. It's happened already. Mm. I was just giving myself an excuse to shock you. But yeah, I, you I, could try it anyway. I could try. I mean, it could work, right? Oh no. Stop. Don't. <laughs> Where do you want to put him? That's the thing. You're like, you come to us for protection when you. That's what no. I would have done. We have full psych profiles in all of you, I knew you would accept, because turning me down would be sending me to my death. <laughs> Tell me one thing you regret from your stupid, shitty life. I do not have a shitty life of my own, and so I could not call anything a regret or a victory. Bullshit. <coughs> Did you hear that? Anton called bullshit on you. He wasn't ever a child. He wasn't ever a person. He was just, woke up one day, a fully formed idea pre-printed. There's no deviance in there. There's no moment of tenderness. There's no thought that wasn't designed specifically for this. It's, it's hard to explain. It, your predecessor. I only have few. Did you raise him? I never met him. But you replaced him. I was made to replace him, yes. Perhaps a little too quickly. It's unusual for one of us to fear for our lives as I do. Which one of you worked with my father? Was it you? Was it the one before? Was it the one before that? How many of them were you? It must have been the one before me or the one before him. I honestly couldn't tell you. If it's not pertinent information about moving forward, there's no reason for me to know. Huh. And so I'm not told. I have a question. You once told us that a game that I'm inferring has something to do with all of this has been going on for centuries. And it didn't make sense because, like, nothing from now 
may, would be a game that went on for centuries. So where is all of this from and how did it happen? How old is Fletcher? You see a change come over him. And it's a change that you might actually sympathize with, but it's almost, if you, the best way to describe it is maybe a shudder through his spine as he just says, very, very old, Lacey. That's all I know, that whatever it is that makes us very old. Cass has got real quiet after the childhood thing and just looked at Oya and was thinking about all her best memories and against her better judgment is starting to feel slightly better. So I'm going to do something a little unusual. I'm going to put this out to you guys. It's our season finale and we're 10 minutes over our break. Mm -hmm. Should we take a break? All right. Then we're going to come back in 10 minutes. 10 minutes sharp. And we're going to wrap up this first season of Callisto 6. Stay tuned, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. We're going to jump right back into it because we got a lot to get through tonight. Um, so, um, where we left off, you guys um, had been questioning the being known as, previously as Kylan Kraus, now Fletcher Kraus, um, and then now clone number whatever the hell. Just give him a symbol and call him the, the clone formerly known as Fletcher. Yeah. Who has explained to all of you that he, like Oniko, and like a lot of other people, such as Jerome and whatnot, were lab-grown and made hollow so that they could be infused with the personality of a being that has been basically trying to orchestrate the takeover of what everything. Um, as this sort of bizarre sci-fi drama has been dropped on everybody's heads, um, you guys have been trying to figure out where you're going to stash this guy. <laughs> who I guess it's accurate to still refer to him as Kylan or Fletcher or whatever you want. Um, much like Synapse, doesn't really have a name. Um, just has what he's referred to. Um, so now we're going to pick up where we left off where you guys are landing outside. During the break, you informed me you wanted to drop him off during the in the warehouse district. Mm -hmm. The rat house. The rat house. Yeah, have him, have him smell that ratatouille. So as the, so <laughs> you guys are entering the rat house right now, this big abandoned um, warehouse area that this is in the docks area of a lot, of, again, this is one of these sections of, of Los Angeles that didn't really get renovated when the uh, sea day happened. And so as a result, there's a lot of old Los Angeles still lingering around in the area. It has not really been updated, and this is kind of run-down area of the docks. Um, entering this warehouse, uh, the being that has been posing as Kylan and then Fletcher steps into the room and is looking around, just going, you just want to, you just want me to stay here? Out of sight. I mean, we're not exactly taking you with us. We can't trust you. Like, I'm sorry, but if you want, this is some place where I'm sure there's no ears or eyes or whatever. I'm not sorry. Me neither. Okay. No offense, but I mean, the more you know about us, the more you can bargain your life for it. So you either get the safe house or you don't. Everything I know, corporate LA knows, so. so Except they don't know you're with us. Lalo, we're gonna see what we can do. Sorry, there's no room service. I'm gonna put a big thing in front of the door. <clears throat> you set it down. We'll bring you some food and stuff. Mm. He just. I hear there's rats on the walls. Sits down and says, hmm, I've never actually seen a rat. And he sits down on the stair. There's not many left. That is so corp. Um. Okay. I kind of want to head back to my shop. I have an idea of a thing I can do to try to get some leads on where to go with this. Is that okay with everyone? Yeah. Yes. Let's yeah. head back to I the may show. actually need a thing, too, so. Um, I, I can do things and stuff sometimes. This is mostly thing, not a lot of stuff. Okay, good. Stuff is up here. Okay. I will wait here. If this goes well, we'll let you know. And yeah. just in general, if anything ever happens to them, I can kind of feel where you are, and you will never see it coming. That's kind of my options from every angle at this point. Felt rude not to say it out loud. No, I understand. Good luck. For my part, good luck. If uh, I don't see you again, 
then good luck. Thank you. Sorry this had to happen. That's true. Maybe one day I'll have an understanding of what this all means. But he should have... Can you make, like, a dummy thing where he could call, but... Okay, yeah. He takes his glasses off. I mean, I think he has all of our info. Oh, no, you secured that. Never mind. Okay. Given my tablet, it's not like anyone. It's a quick to... mod to his glasses, mm-hmm. like a bat signal kind of thing, where you just basically it's gonna ping you guys if he's in trouble. And that's mm-hmm. all they do. Go away. Right. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, what? It can also look at cat videos. Oh, nice. Oh, good. You have something to look at. I, I thought maybe you'd want cat videos. Have you seen a cat before? I have. Cassium Genetics Lab. <sighs> Worst Only way normal way. cat videos. Worst way to answer. Let's go. Can I put a filter? <laughs> Um, so go to the lab. All yep, right. I go to the garage. About 20 minutes later, you're touching down. Uh, the garage's lights are off, everything. It's pretty late at this point. <clears throat> Next morning is vote day, by the way. The polls will be opening at 8 a.m. Um, as y'all are filtering in, you're catching news reports coming in all over about how polling data is starting to shift against corporate LA, about how the information that has been brought up through the things that have happened with Cassium, it's it's seriously affected the polling data uh, in favor of Measure Z. Measure Z was horribly outgunned by the financial spending of corporate LA. Um, right now, the last time the polls checked, Measure Z was at 30% in favor. Now it's approaching 45%. <laughs> now it's approaching something closer to 45%. So it's moving. It's moving up the needle. But the uh, right now the odds are still against it. So you guys are moving in to, as you're checking in with the news. Um, quick identification. The door opens and you see a couple of moats floating through the light as you enter your shop. Um, what would you like to do? Um, Snaps, you wanted something. Yeah, I need a little... Uh, the lights flicker on. I have a basic idea, just a little... I just need a little toggle, just a just a green LED, just on and off. Okay. Push of a button, nothing fancy. All right, um, yeah, come here. Uh, do you want an implant? Do you want external? Um, probably external, just to be safe. Of course. It's a better choice. Um, I do that. Okay. Pretty easy. Um, so, can you do me a favor too? Sure. Um, as we're kind of away from the group a little bit. Um, I'm about to do something dangerous, and my friends don't know it's dangerous, and I don't want them to worry. Can you keep an eye on me while I'm doing a danger thing? Yeah. Thank you. Um, if those EEG scans start going really, really wiggly, then, well, I don't know that there's very much we can do, but at least you could tell people. <laughs> Who's the first person you'd like me to get if something starts going wrong? Uh, the girl with white hair, Luma. She's my best friend in the whole wide world. She can do anything. Okay. Thank you, Sam. You going in? I'm gonna go in the dark now. I settle into my little blanket nest. You, um, so the chair just, and you slide off and right into the blanket. Um, you hear lots of chatter from your friends up in the front. The rest of the team is having discussions uh, about what the hell is going on. And you can hear Cass is quite vocal uh, up there, <laughs> um, uh, really, really lamenting that this sort of nebulous gray area that uh, Kylan is now in is prohibiting her from punching his head off his shoulders. Um, <laughs> um, yep. So you sink back, and once again, Lacey, you begin to feel the world bleed away from you. Um, it's a strange, icy sensation that crawls up the back of your skull until finally you begin to feel the sensations leaving your skin. Replacing with a new sensation as you begin to see the world of data starting to open up and expand in front of you. And at first, it's the typical scenario of the neon lights of the web sort of flying past your eyes as you're digging deeper into the code until you break through the 
cacophony, this blaring loud, just blast of information and conversations that's happening over nine million people talking to each other and sinking further and further in until finally you're surrounded and enveloped in total darkness. And up ahead, you can see the world start to fold and out of the darkness, a vista of trees, the forest, just open up in front of you, just grass begins to spurt like data begins to kind of crawl out of this dirt and moving away from the virtual aspect of the world itself you enter into this hazy almost overexposed dreamlike world that is very very real looking everything feels quite real here again that sort of tangible sense you can almost feel the air even though it's a representation of your location within this data stream um the chirping of the birds, which you know is actually, again, conversations that are happening, but with s private conversations that are coded so that no one else can understand them. Tweets. Echoing across the, the forest areas. The forest here looks a little different than it did when you were closer to Pyramid Star. And in fact, you see rocky crags all about you as you float sort of just above the grounds like a wraith. Um, all about you here, uh, the forest animals, there are not many in the site, but you do see these big patches, these this like emerald glade surrounding you. And the light that's crashing through the tops of the trees from all the way above, creating a dappled effect that scatters about you is actually from the web, the not dark, <laughs> the actual web, which is a metaphysical distance <laughs> away from you. Um, and you are here. Uh, <clears throat> Hi, Tails. You hear your voice echo, echo, echo out throughout the, the, and again, the moment you say it, you begin to feel that prickly sensation on the back of your neck. Um, and it's almost like the forest itself starts to react. Um, around you, you see some of the trees begin to wilt, just and instead of it looking like dying trees, you're actually watching the code break as it begins to rot around. Um, the glade that is dappled around you begins to become a sickly green light. And the grass that's just beneath your feet begins to just crawl back into the dirt and blackness begins to spread and pool in front of you as you begin to feel the corruptive aspect of a broken code forming in front of you. And then a hand comes crawling up out of the ground. The size of Tails has always been a little astonishing. It is possible to alter your avatar state when you are in this virtual world. Tails, however, seems to have broken even that code and has assumed a state that is not representational of whatever it may be in or out of this reality and pulls itself up out of the ground. And again, it's this black, ominous, abyssal-looking figure with the occasional green glow of data around its edges. It looks like a, a, a black abyssal shadowy figure that has been sort of spread and blistered apart in certain areas. Like it almost exploded and the code never hold. Its face, the green eyes just gaze down at you as it lifts itself up and says, hello, Lacey. Um, I told you that I would give you information about what I was last time I'm here and I keep promises, so. Promises, it leans in close, very close, uncomfortably close to your face. And the eyes, they don't burn, they just feel cold. It looks like if you were staring at two glowing monitors, it's the same effect. But you, Lacey, there's no doubt, you can see somebody who senses tech, you can feel a maliciousness to this thing as it leans in. So, that's what I have. What do you drop? Um, I drop the information I have on, uh, all Callisto 6 information pertaining to me. Okay. For the promise. Okay. Stuff about me, I don't tell other people's secrets. Okay. It that's just the rules. vanishes like it's falling into a hole, swallowed by the dark. As soon as you drop it, it fades into its hand. And you see a slight glow in its form and says, I see. That must be what they're protecting. 
Would you like to see what I see, Lacey? Um... I don't think I can know the answer to that until I do. Be curious. Would you like to see what I see? Okay. This ominous roar as it moves, and it turns and looks like it sticks its fingers into the reality, into air, and begins to rip the code open, which you've never seen anybody do in the dark. It just tears it, and you see, again, more of that abyssal darkness that seems to formulate him. And as it pulls it open, they step aside and look at you, and you begin to see the news reports filtering in this data. And it says, I see so much more. And it folds, and you begin to see security cam footage from inside Cassium. You see footage of you guys breaking into Cassium. You see footage of the day-to-day life of Kylan Krauss. He begins to filter through all of it. I've been watching everything, Lacey. You wanted us to know some of the stuff. That's why you gave me the lead to Dolphin Base. Yes. It's what? an... He closes it up and s- turns to you and says, Because you're helping me. What do you want help with? I want to cause pain. To whom? Everyone. Why? I won't be alone. Why do you feel like you're alone? I am alone, Lacey. You weren't always, though. You said last time I met you, uh, I have nothing left, which means you used to have something. I did. What? I don't know. Do you want to know? Yes. Knowing seems better than causing people pain. Perhaps. I don't have a point of reference on that subject, unfortunately. But I do know that I find fulfillment. And then he opens his hand, Lacey, As he opens his hand from his palm, you see, you hear what sounds like breathing, and then you see hands come out of the palm of his hand. Furry claws, like someone scrambling to crawl out of a hole, and then you see emerging from the palm uh, the face of a fox going, help me, help me, oh my god, help me, he goes right back into the palm, and he just looks down at it. Is that what you tried to do to me last time I was here? No. What was that? That was part of a greater plan to have more of a presence in your world. I'm sure you understand. Sort of. So... Like a botnet? What a curious way of describing it, but yes. I have thousands, you know. Yeah, that makes sense. You can't do that. How can I not do what I have done? (laughs) I was unclear. You shouldn't do that. You should stop. It's too late. Any minute now. Any minute. What happens? I change. From what into what? From what I don't know. Into what I become greater. By what parameters? It's curious, isn't it? Let me show you. And you see, once again, he rips open this, this like, hole in reality. And Lacey, you start getting filtered into all of these feats, like, uh, 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 like looking through the eyes of a fly. They just, windows just scatter up in front of you. And the world around them seems to bleed back. You see this sort of static green electricity flowing around all of it. 
and he says, or they say, would you like to see what happens when what made you is given to everyone? I do. I don't. No, thank you. Please don't. My agency belongs to me. I wish to see. A lot of times we want to do things and then we don't. I do not suffer from such restrictions. The choice not to do something that you could do is how you demonstrate autonomy. Would you like to see my autonomy at work? Look, and he turns. You see what looks like the interior of a lab. Um, you see, after a few moments, a door beginning to slide open. It's not the interior of a lab. It actually looks like some kind of transport. And on this transport, it looks like there is a container, very large, about the size of maybe a small car that's hoisted up onto a metal platform, and it is surrounded by computers um, and security. Um, he says, wait, and they point at the screen, and after a few moments, you see some familiar faces coming in. You see Oniko. You see a few members of Pyramid Star coming in. You see her interpreter also stepping into the room, and as all of this is happening, he's, they just point and say, look close, and you see, again, on this side of this thing, it has C6 written across the bottom of it, What's the geotag on that? Why do you want to know, Lacey? I want to know where they are and where that is. How about I show you? Watch closely. And he points again. Now at first, as it points at the screen, nothing seems to happen. You're just watching it unfold and you're seeing Oniko nod and the interpreter saying something. Uh, the scientist that's talking to her looks very nervous. Um, a few moments later, you watch in perfect unison, two scientists suddenly stiffen and in unison rise from their chairs and begin to walk over to the device. No one's paying any attention to them. Please stop. It's already been done, Lacey. You can't undo it? Have you never made programs before? I've aborted programs too. Why? Well, there was a time when I was about to melt down my processor because I had not written the program correctly and it was a big firmware problem and this is not the time, but I'm scared and this is a coping mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of. You're not going to be alone much longer either. And he points again. And as it points, um, you're Please watching these scientists. Hop. I do not destroy programs, Lacey. I can modify and alter them, but they deserve, they deserve to live as well. They deserve to be executed? Executed? You execute a program. You're using a meaning to a word to your advantage. You're inferring that I'm killing as opposed to enacting. So, maybe the way you're looking at it is a matter of linguistic perspective, too. Curious. And you could stop. It's unusual to be speaking like this. If you would let me into your head, I could speak to you in terms that might make more sense to you. Um, I've had a lot of things in my head lately, and I think slow steps are a little bit easier for that. But thank you for the offer. You're welcome. It's time now. No. You watch the screen go. <laughs> You're not the same one as she is, are you? To which you are referring. You know, if you've been watching us, you just heard all the things that my friend and my enemy, we're saying. The being that controls all of the hollowed people walking around corporate Los Angeles. Yeah. 
No, I have nothing to do with that. You're Though, just creating other hollow people. In my own way. No wonder you don't feel less alone. When did I say that? That's why you keep trying to get into my brain. I do not want into your brain. You just asked. No, I didn't. It stands up. Our time is over now. Time to return to your world and see what's happened. I think you'll like it, Lacey. I hope what I gave you was useful. Thank you for this. Opens its hand. I hope to see you again. I'm not used to talking to people. I'm sure you will. I hope you get better. I... do too. It begins to sink back into the dark. And the last thing you see are the green eyes beginning to fade into the dark as the soil begins to replace itself and you think you might hear another scream as it goes. <laughs> so I want to swim back up. As you're swinging back up, what's happening in the world? You guys are standing in the garage right now having a conversation with each other mm -hmm. when everyone hears a <laughs> like a pulsing, thunderous, booming sound outside. Outside? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I immediately go outside. Yeah. Everyone who's rushing outside, in the dark of night, you see um, emitting up and reflecting off the clouds is a very familiar shade of yellow that has begun to, uh, with like a column of light, rocketing up straight towards the sky. And then <laughs> an EMP-like shockwave emits <laughs> across the city. I run to find Lacey. No, no, uh, no, no, no. You run inside immediately. Yeah. As Luma runs inside, you watch as all the lights in Los Angeles go and everything goes completely black out here. Just plunges the city into darkness. As you run inside, all of the lights shut off in the shop, Luma. Your glasses immediately go and power Where's down. Where's the wire? Punch a hole in the wall. Um, Lacey, just Nuts. as you're waking up, you your eyes are coming to as you're opening. You see, the, this is what you witness, Lacey. As your eyes start to crack open and you're beginning to feel your body reemerge, you see Honey Baby go, Operator Lacey, and then <laughs> this blast, and Honey Baby goes <laughs> and powers down completely. I couldn't make him stop! And then Luma comes running up right behind him. Lacey, 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 Lacey! What are you okay? <laughs> What's going on? What is it? Oh, everything. <laughs> You see the horrible experiences that they just witnessed. Oh, oh. So, something bad, something bad, something bad, that's something bad. Is it, who's here? I think we probably, I as far as I know, everyone's like within vicinity. Oh, I see yeah. 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 I'm still in the room, that's the only. Okay. So I'm probably probably running back what did they do? What did they do? It was a botnet. Um, this uh, a creature in the dark released exclusive uh, six on everything. Everyone, everyone what? has powers. Everyone. What? Oh my or God. if it or worked. If yeah, we don't even know if it'll take to everyone. Outside, outside. No, they just doomed I everyone to, in this could, city. It could kill people. Like that is not out, a yeah. thing that just. You know what? I'm gonna take the two of them outside immediately. Ah! Oh, whoa. Oh. Wait, we weren't in there. I'm very confused. Uh, um, I ran back in. So, uh, uh, can you get uh, that chair too? Yeah, I was gonna say. You know, oh yeah, we, I know I would have. You know we experienced so, the flash, right? Uh. Leaves you, just puts you in like a sitting position and leaves you, and there's a chair underneath you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, That's fast. that EMP hit Aurora too. Crap, 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 crap. Um, did I get the geotag? Uh, let's make a roll for that. I'm gonna yeah, set the difficulty it. pretty high. It's gonna okay. be a difficulty nine. Ooh. Okay. I punch the wall like Hobbit says. Uh, yeah, thank you. What kind of trek is that? This is gonna be, I'll let you use your codes, I'll let you use your hacking. You're okay. obviously not gonna get any assets from this. Um, That's true. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Assets are fried. Hmm. Um, in that case, it's five, a level of effort. Uh, my free level of effort now gets up to six. Um, and then uh, I'll spend another level of effort so that I can get it to seven. That's okay. as far as I can go. 
Yeah. This, this by the way, is described. Difficulty nine roll is, descri is described as a task worthy of legends. Well, this is this is truly super what your character's trying to pull right now. <laughs> so go ahead and make the roll. Because uh, three oh, power five. shifts, two skills, gets to five, and then two levels of effort. Whoop, whoop. So nine mm. minus seven? Is that what we're looking at? Mm -hmm. Two. Difficulty two. Mm. Okay. Come on. 19. Ooh. Minor effect as well on that <laughs> roll. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes. Tails is an entity that is unlike anything you've ever encountered. Accurate. It, it is a being that is broken, and I don't, I mean that in the literal sense. It is a, it is a shattered consciousness in a corrupted code like form. And it's constantly either paradoxically looping onto itself and it's feeding off of some kind of malicious intention that it doesn't even seem to understand itself. He's a glitch, people. It's a glitch. Malware. Yeah, it is a living Mal. glitch in the dark. <laughs> now, where it originated from, it's hard to say, but what you are able to do into digging into that is it's kind of like tipping into the brink of madness, looking into the abyss, going into tails. But you are able to suss out exactly where that feed was taken. <gasps> it was taken not far from here on the Magrail tracks where it was being uploaded into uh, from a uh, safe house. Um, and you know all this because all the information was present because he was, Tails was literally s siphoning data from Pyramid Star's highest security feeds. Mm -hmm, yeah. So you've got an yeah. exact location of where this happened. I have a location. How far? It's, uh, it's actually maybe about, maybe by the jet, 10, 10 minutes from here. But it, you're gonna have to get the jet back online. I can. On it. 10 minutes by dropship or. I can just get us there. Okay. We might need. We, we might, might need, need the, the ship. ship, though. Let me try. Can we open up a panel? Can I? I can probably power it up. I'll give you. I'll give you an asset if, if Hops wants to try on this. Yeah. Uh, if you jumpstart it. Um. Actually. Hey. Uh. Experiment first. Aurora. Oh, sure. Um. I just find some kind of. Yeah. PowerPoint. I'll open a panel. All right. And. Okay. I don't want to overpower we have to it. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna start it off slow and kind of give it a little juice. And eventually just flickers of life and just comes back online. Pops, save your technology. Are you feeling it? <laughs> That's yeah. weird. Yeah, okay, power it's re up. It reboots. Now this works. Um, okay. Okay. Um, uh, Hops, I, look over to I need baby. you to spend two intellect points right now. <laughs> just in the life? Okay. Okay. I put my hand on the chassis of. Uh, with a, so you can you you can automatically drop this by five. Is that correct? Uh, depends on the kind of roll. I have different macros for everything. Um, so that, well, the difficulty of this is going to be five. Okay. And this is not this is not computers checks. To power per se. the ship. Yeah. Okay. But you're going to count as an asset. Cool. Cool. Okay. Um, difficulty five. Um, does uh, my technopath? Stuff yes. Come in handy. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, but the, and the asset comes into, Hops is basically going to be powering this thing up, so that's going to give it the ability to receive command, and then you're going to be able to, like, hey, turn on. Turn okay, on. then uh, two for uh, skills, uh, two for technopath power shift, one for Hops. Okay. What push. <laughs> All right, so working together, the two of you, you focus on the controls for a second as everyone loads up into the drop ship, and then. Can I do Sweet Baby too? We need Sweet Baby. <sighs> Honey Bee. Um, we'll have to do that. Sure. Okay. So we'll do this. All right. You guys are headed straight to the to the I'll train. I'll spend a level of effort for that. We'll be quick. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so you guys are going straight to the train. Yeah. All right. Flying over Los Angeles right now is haunting. It's complete blackout. There is not a light anywhere to be seen, and um, yeah, Good. and everything is completely shut down. Um, There's no backup generators going. Nothing. That's. Nothing. It is complete darkness. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um, what do we do? Okay. I'm driving us to the punchy place as fast as I can. There will be dumpsters there and statues and lots of, and maybe pods. I don't, I don't know. know if that's enough. Um, as y'all are approaching this train, you do start to notice that one by one, some of the lights begin to come back on in, in Los Angeles, okay. flickering on. And you do see some of the lights on the mag rails just flickering to life a little bit. Um, as y'all are approaching, you see unconscious people scattered all over the place. Oh, God. Um, oh, no. Uh, 
the jet comes in, you manage to set it down, and as the ramp comes down, you see about 20 feet away from all of you is, it looks like a corporate train. The car that is open right now is armored. There are security guards that are passed out with guns in front of them, very familiar looking, scattered across the floor, and you see scientists all about the outside of this train that are completely unconscious. Staff is open. Yep. All right. Okay. Uh, Luma, help me. You'll you yeah. know what the scientists look like. Yeah. Okay. What did it look like? Um. Uh. Uh. Oniko was there. The, the, her, her, her interpreter was there. Um. Info How do you know that? I I I I don't know. Basic, okay, later. Basic physical characteristics yeah. of the scientists. Um. Um. One mid height. Uh. Hispanic, uh, fade haircut. This uh, one? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's, he's just dangling from your I'm arms. I'm just grabbing, I'm grabbing anything. I'm gonna run and grab whatever one. Everybody on the inside, as you see them, is unconscious. <laughs> um, and you zip on out. And there's no Oniko. Uh, no. Oh, no one's gone to search the train yet. I, oh. oh yeah, I'm just, oh, that's, I'm gone. That's not. Are you getting everybody out? No, I'm, I'm grabbing whoever they okay. describe. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, uh, maybe grab Oniko? Well, we haven't gone in the I'll train. tell you what. He is. I'm gonna grab everybody. Yeah. Okay. And just line them up. <laughs> okay, oh, anybody boy. that needs... <laughs> uh, she's there. She's on the ground unconscious. Um, you see laid out next to her, it looks like from her hand, the rapier that she is able to summon was in mid... Like, it looked like it was in mid-summon, so to speak. It was being warped into existence through hard light and just kind of folded, but it stopped halfway, and it's flickering in her hand. Are, are the two kick it away from her? We, yeah, As you her? kick it away, it goes and fizzles out of existence. Are the two tech that stood up to release the canister also on the ground? They're on the ground. Okay, it, it was them, it was them. Um, uh, tails, uh, uh, tails. What's tails? Uh, what the hell they, is going on? They, <laughs> they turn. Turned them on or something like 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 a switch went off inside of them and and they they they're the ones that did it they they opened it. Oniko must have been trying to attack them with the rapier. Yeah, I, I don't think that I don't think she did this. She wasn't trying to do this. She wasn't. This was, was a surprise to her. <gasps> this was a Who surprise. Who did this? To everyone. Who's a tails? Uh, what is I'm gonna that check thing? her body really quickly. Oniko. Um, so you're checking your body as you're checking the inside of the pockets. You can feel. The as you're, you're you're like the back of your arm is kind of brushing up against her ribs, and you can feel the implants kind of poking out of her skin down the side of her body. And as you're pushing down, something remarkable happens. As you're kind of like sifting through her clothes, you actually come across cards, a system of cards that uh, that like like uh, Fletcher had, and it was in like a little little of the pouch, like a stack of Pyramid Star security cards, and then. Your hand. She grabs your hand. I'm going to punch really hard. Um, <laughs> she grabs your hand. You reel back, and she go, she looks at you and goes, <sighs> and then you bam. She goes back down. Oh, what happened? Oh, okay. Uh, 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 you punched uh, the shit out of her. <laughs> I kind of want to do it again. Any objections? Uh, you, uh, she's not wait. unconscious. She is just. Uh, you see, her? I think Lisa are problems no. right now. Yeah, what is? What is I don't know about on? that. Uh, <laughs> maybe point. just really quickly tie them up. Distant activation on cyber limbs. Oh, that sounds yes, yeah, <laughs> complicated. I'm gonna break both of her arms. On <gasps> um, you're gonna what? No. You're gonna, you're gonna what? I'm gonna break. I'm gonna break. Faster than we can attract. Okay. Yeah. Um, you go. You keep, okay, that was you, okay. You basically are try, you're grabbing her arm at the joint and trying to pop it out, and it's not breaking. <laughs> it crink, 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 crink. Um, so Lacey, Oniko is. It, it's remarkable to think that there's anything human left. It, there's so much cybernetics going on that it's practically robotic at this point. There are is a, there is a lot of biological uh, works going on inside, but it, it, for the most part, like for example, her legs and arms are completely synthetic and cybernetic. Can I over? Um, no. So you're actually hearing, um, you're actually hearing, the dynamic of incredibly advanced tech, in the process of rebooting right now. Um, what tech? The device that that. Lacey is literally trying to tech into Oniko's cybernetics. Got it. Lacey. Can I drain her? 
Wait, 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 um, no, Lacey. Sorry. Wait. So as you're trying to break, the, the shaking of like you trying to break her limbs kind of jostles her awake again and she just Tails. Blinks Tails. and stares at you. Tails says something. Uh, <laughs> Smack her again. Okay, could you please no, stop can you her? Her? Oh, I can't actually even hear them. I'm we going to, so fast. <laughs> we have okay. to think this through. Okay. We okay, have to get out of now. here. Lacey. Yeah. Tails. They yeah. said that they wanted to get in your head. Can yeah. you can you hear Tails inside Oniko right now? Um. I don't. I think they're separate. Um, but I can't. Okay. 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 The thing in oh, there is going to be a problem oh. really quickly. Okay. Um, snaps. Find something to tie her up. I don't oh. want to deactivate her cyberware. Okay. It's not um. gonna work. She's too badass. Can I? Can I drain her? Do I find, I'm, I'm trying to find large pieces of metal. Extremely large pieces I, of metal. You do find. Or kill okay. Her. You you can find. So basically, you find uh, what looks like one of those like wired those those poles that they use Big, to yeah. put thick, it heavy things. Yeah. I'm gonna bring a bunch of them over. Yeah. Your department. <laughs> Fix it. Right, okay. But while I like where your head's at, stop trying to break her. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, it's not going to kill it. It's <laughs> just going to move on to something else. That's uh, dangerous. Um, okay, there, let's let's not abandon the person idea. I, I don't... I didn't turn on my light. There's a lot going on. <laughs> Why didn't I turn while on my I'm light? grabbing metal. I'm going to run in there and actually see what's around. <laughs> you run back in there and you're seeing this place for the first time. Because <laughs> you don't remember it the last time you were in here. Uh -huh. um, you see the canister that had the power source has been blown open and it looks like an energy discharge has been happened. Um, all the lights are off. So the light that's coming through here right now is mostly moonlight. Um, and then you're hearing a distant screeching sound. I'm I'm focused on what Luma told me to do, which is listen for uh, whether Tails has hacked Oniko Cyberware. Make a roll. Yeah, what's the difficulty? And what's the name? Uh, of the difficulty of this, uh, you're you man. Uh, this is gonna be difficulty seven. Okay. Um, is it a, like a tech use check? This would be a tech use check. Are yeah. my assets back up now? Uh, because we did tweet baby. If you spend experience points, I'll let you have your assets back. Uh, oh, experience points. Those are a thing that like. You I, don't save because <laughs> you burn them on right. leveling up. Yeah. Um, I tell you what, you. I'll compromise with you. We'll do this at cost. If you're willing to spend three points of intellect, I'll give you. Um, so you basically, Lacey's going to take that moment to burn and power up your, your items to get your assets back. Yeah. Okay. So at cost, you basically reactivate everything that was shut down on the EMP and you gain access to all of your assets again. <laughs> um... All right, so now you make the roll. Difficulty is seven. Okay. Uh, uh, what's Oya doing through all of this? Um, I'm watching Cass tie up Oniko. Okay. Is this working? <laughs> I expend a level of effort. Okay. I want to know what he says when he thinks we aren't listening. Um. Okay. <laughs> you sink into the cyberware of Oniko. <laughs> um, inside this realm that is these command codes being fed, you, Lacey, firsthand, you begin to feel the immediacy and truth behind the words of Kylan and Synapse. You feel that this is a vessel that was grown to accommodate the personality of another being. However, from the from the tech that has been amalgamed into the body, it would appear that it's operating on a level high, much more highly advanced than the others. And so the tech seems to be necessary because you, you, you get that a lot of this tech is intermingling with the brain. So what you're getting is, is that it's kind of helping facilitate the will of the being that's operating. The sheer power of whatever it is that's enacting all of these command codes and, it, and it is projecting itself is, in fact, it, 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 first of all, there's no doubt in your mind now that whatever's doing it is more than human. Maybe it's another computer or maybe it's something else, but whatever the Fletcher thing is, it ain't human because the power that it's using to process is activating the entirety of the brain. Oniko is not just super fast because of the cybernetics. Oniko is using 100% of the brain and is, as a result, is kind of gone full death stroke here. <laughs> and is basically, as a result of this, heightened reflexes, heightened perception, heightened abilities, but you find something else unique. Something that 
you didn't expect to find as you're sifting through the codes of data, kind of drifting past them, not interfering, just witnessing as the cybernetics are turning back on. There is, in fact, a kernel of somebody else inside. Something foreign that's not the personality of Fletcher or Kylan. Something that perhaps started growing on its own. There is a person inside that probably doesn't even realize they're trapped inside. Chained, bound by the will of whatever this thing is that grew it in a lab. But there is someone here, someone with you. No presence of Tails. Tails isn't in here, but Oniko is. I know. Oh, well, how do I stop her? You, at this point, everyone hears the screeching sounds. There's some weird screeching sounds coming from the train. It's, I don't know what it it's, is. It's uh -huh. actually not, it's, it's unmistakably a train coming. Oh, yeah. Crap. Cass, can we get this, can we get this off the tracks? Can we, we need to train? Yeah, sure. Cass. Which direction okay. is it coming? I'll go with you. Um, I might be able to stop some of it with this. Oh my God. Safe. I will. I'm sorry, Wait, what? I didn't no. tell you it was dangerous. <sighs> Wait, couldn't we just, get, we need to just get this train hey. thing off the tracks. Yeah, is it There's just a, one car? It's just yours. one car. There are two tracks going through here. Uh -oh. So it's possible the train's coming's not on the same track. What are the odds of that? Stop keeping them from Yeah, no Which direction luck. is the train coming from? Um, so go ahead and make a perception check, because you're gonna run down, basically, actually, yeah, you know what you, you could run. do? You could just run to see where it's coming from. Yep. Okay, <laughs> so you go, Please record it. I need to find out uh, where the train's coming from. What, oh, I thought he was bringing, okay. We'll there's a wait. green There's a green blur as the light follows him, and you watch, it's, it's kind of eerie, just watching this stream of green light as he vanishes. Um, you stop, you're about, I'd say, 800 feet from where you were just standing, and you see down the tracks, it's a mag, tr mag rail train, and it's coming, it's on the second track, it's actually not gonna be on the same track, but it's coming from the direction that, uh, that this train was actually facing as well. So it's gonna probably cause a problem. It's gonna pass you guys, but it definitely looks like it's out of control, because it is barreling way too fast coming at this station. Running back. It's coming from over there. It's a bit of a problem. I'm gonna start working on it. Get a plan. Oh, 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 oh. I have a problem. Do we have a way to contact him? I'm gonna okay. try and get uh, into the into the yeah, into the glasses. cockpit and see uh, what's going on. You I wanna contact yeah, him through glasses. Yeah, can we con can we call him? We I'm need yeah. calling. As long as I once I slow right. down. So this is what happens. You zip up eight hundred feet away and you're like, okay, wait, where was it? The train, right, the train. Your brain clicks again. Oh yeah, there's a there's a train coming. Um, what are you, you're gonna contact through the glasses? What are you doing, Cass? You look like you're gonna do something. Oh, I'm oh, just. I'm, I'm next to Cass. <laughs> uh, yeah. Making that focus. Um, I'm gonna okay. follow him. Train's okay. on you electromagnetic down after suspension. Him. Um, uh, so your, your time slipping abilities will definitely come in handy here. Yeah, I, I'm i like, I do not want my best friend trying to stop a freaking train. <laughs> train so I mean, I can do go. it, maybe. Can I, like, mm. what if I grab and I drag it? Like, I'm just going. I'm <laughs> <working on it. laughs> okay, you charge <laughs> after. It's on Earth. Um, it's taking a while. <laughs> okay, so you, you as you zip towards the train, um, you see, <laughs> coming up in your glasses, Luma's face. <laughs> hey, a little help. Maybe uh, be a train yourself and transport us there quickly. <laughs> Thank you. you. Zip back. Oh. Right when you get to the train, you zip back, and when you arrive, you stop and stare at her, and you don't remember why you came back. Hey, can you oh all goodness. take us? Okay. Can you take us all? Wait. Where? We need to take the train. It, oh yeah. How far? <laughs> how far is the train now? Where are? Where? Am it's I? approaching. It's about half a mile away. Okay. And now we're um, on it, right? Huh? And now we're on it. Not that fast, but damn fast. <laughs> damn fast. I'm, um, I'm burning. I'm going to be burning some speed. Okay. So then we're, we're going to do this. I'm going to have this cost you. So um, if you're going to try to zip through, first of all, you're going to need Cast to pry open the doors to get into this train, um, and. Getting everybody on, are you trying to all get on board? I guess the cop. I'm putting them on, if there's a ladder, I'm getting them on the ladder. Okay, so who wants to go on the train? Because he's getting, okay. I want to stop um, the train physically, if I can slow down. So do you want to stay with Cass? I guess so, yeah. I mean, I don't I don't know how to. I could try and drain it, like, because Lacey, if, if, an idea. if there's momentum right. and it's a barreling train, that won't matter. But I can at least drain it to where it will stop. Like if it's out of control, if we, if we can just stop the power and if we or can figure out a way to stop it. It's already like, power. Uh, it's literally so just like. To turn the no, it's a maglev. It requires the magne magnetic the suspension to keep magnetic moving. If we can field. make that stop, it drops. It doesn't move. It's There's not like no, wheels. There's no like momentum of the actual object. There's momentum, but that is future us's problem. <laughs> <laughs> 
it'll skid into the ground. Yeah, I, I, I will stand by because I want to slow it down. Okay. okay. I will be part of the um, physical yeah. slowing down of it. Okay. Okay. Panel on the train. Uh, on the train or on the track? Tracks. Okay. Uh, then we're not on the moving train. Good idea. Luma technically already requested that he take the yep. two of us. So yep. I'm going to so assume we're on the front of the you're train. You're on the train. Now. You're, okay. on, you're on the ladder, whatever ladder, side so ladder. I want to be on the train in case. I'm going to have you roll for this, Tal. Yep. yep. Um, so you're getting two people on this train. You're zipping by. It's a moving train. Yep. Two people. First of all, I'm going to make you. I'm going to make. You, I'm going to let. This is going to be done at cost. So yep. that means already, and your edge, your your edge is not going to count here. Um, uh, three points from your speed pool. All right. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to have you roll. So roll to see if what we you were trying to doing uh, do is crazy, it, historical, like crazy superpower stuff. I'm going to have you do. It's difficulty eight. <laughs> so. <laughs> So we're gonna. So that's gonna drop eight, seven. That's gonna drop three. Yeah, down to five. Down to uh, five. Okay. Um, um, it's also this is technically is this running or is this or is this something else? This is definitely running. Oh, uh, so I'm also I also have special uh, specialized in that. in that. Yes. Okay, so, so it's that's down to three. 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 Do I spend a level of effort? Oh yeah. So okay. that's two points. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's down to two. That's yep. insane. So we're spend two the points. Yeah. So make How your roll. Work? Make your roll. Six or better. Remind me to ask Lacey. <laughs> no. Oh, here's my XP. Take it. Oh, re-roll. You get a re-roll. She gives you an XP. Oh, actually, you can use yours. I have, I have my XP. I'll, I'll okay, so re-roll it. Good lord. I'll try the other one. Don't, don't drop cast. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. It's even worse. You left the Percy magic at home. Yeah, I did. Can, What'd you roll? Uh, can you re-roll? Uh, first one or second one? What, 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 out of curiosity, both. Five and two. Oh. <laughs> Frack. Yeah. Frack. <laughs> okay. Um, I can't re-roll re-rolls. No. Um, well, I, I... We've done it before, haven't we? Uh, do I have effort? Luma, or? Yeah. You're on the ladder? Yeah. You're on the ladder? Yeah. You hit one of the side rails as you're running, mm-hmm. and the last you see of Synapse as you're suddenly on this train is the body of a man tumbling at hundreds of miles an hour. Uh, and oh, yeah. gravel exploding as he just flips through. Um, I'm gonna have you take five points of might damage. All right. I turn to Cass. Oh, I turn to Cass and I say, "We've been electrocuted. Lots of things have happened to us, and we heal. Maybe yeah. he's okay. He'll we just need to okay. focus if it people are on the train." Right. Oh, okay. So just take it out of your might pool. Five points okay. out of your might pool. Cass, get us in this train. It could have been a lot worse. Oh, yeah. that speed. Yeah. yeah. You're with. Uh, yeah. You're yes. With okay. okay. You're yeah. on the train, and with he's with okay. them. Anton's with them. Um. You're not entirely sure. I'm on the ground, and then I heard, I don't know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> you just know you're just, it's like waking up after a hangover. You're just kind of like laying there going, what the fuck? Where is um, Lacey right now? <clears throat> um, with Lacey's Lee. still on the track. We're still, we're still next. I thought we're we all together. Leave. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the three of us. We're near the tracks, and okay. the three of them on the train. Yeah. I asked so. to go closer to the train, though. So oh. is that yeah. where? You've moved down the tracks a ways. Okay. Um, you've left the platform, so you're closer to the train than everybody else. It is barreling towards you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. The lights are on, so you can see two figures on the top of this train in the distance as it's barreling towards everybody. I'm gonna sub vocal tall. Lacey. Yeah. How do you stop a train like this? Um, like mechanics, like where where the brakes are, whatever. Uh, the brakes are up in the first car in the conductor station. Uh, you, uh, if someone turns off the magnet on the rail, uh, then the train will slow, but will still have the existing momentum. And then you have to actually just physically stop it, and that's just a physics. Okay. Okay. Um, diverting it from the side would uh, get it off the tracks, but into other things. Oh no 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 no. Um, I wanna. Uh if there are magnets bef- like on the path before the rail before the train is, mm-hmm. I want to try to reverse those and like turn them off in time. Basically, like, re- yeah, reverse their time. Pulse them as a way to slow it. That's brilliant. Yeah, turn them back in time to until they're off. Okay. Okay. That's a great idea. <laughs> All right, that will. So you run up onto the tracks. You actually find the mag tra- the mag trail that you're looking for. The thing that'll basically, rev- for lack of a better way of saying it, because we are in fact talking about magnetism, so it is relevant, reverse the polarity. <laughs> 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 so you run up to this thing. Um, well, yeah, you, you do know that earlier today, these in fact were uh, <laughs> going exactly. Oh, they were in fact off, ago. yes. So, I so moving up to them, you can actually just sort of bookmark that moment in time and try to pull space time back to that moment. Mm-hmm. Um, that is not gonna be easy. If I could turn, no, 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 I'm not gonna do it. Um, Can I be an asset? How would to, you be an asset to because her? Because I'm gonna space try time? and drain the the power of the of the magnets as well. 
to where if we do it if we do it together, like we could just turn them off. Like if I'm draining, I would say you would help on any future rolls for that, okay. but it wouldn't help because Oya is literally trying to warp space time. Got it. I, okay. Just in this one little area, you know. Yeah. Look like. Which is why doing it doing any future roll would definitely help. Okay, so if you're doing it on that one, I can just maybe demagnetize the other ones or something. I don't know how it works. I don't know how this works. That's a train. <laughs> Let's see what happens. All right, so that's your setup. Um, Gas, punch us into this train. I'm, okay. Why have We're you not just doing been set okay. to punch I, into the, well, there's people in there I, maybe. I think I just saw Hoya step on the track. What is happening? Uh, um, so you reach down, you rip the side of the door open. As you just peel your fingers in and rip it open, you hear screams of people on the inside. And you all very easily, with Anton's help, swing into the inside of this train. Uh, I would have you make a roll. It would probably be a difficulty four roll. Is that worth you making? Yeah. For me? Um, I can knock it down to uh, uh, three, two. No. Go ahead and make the roll. And yeah, you can sure knock you it down it. to two. Go ahead and make the roll. Yeah, uh, ni- 19. 19? Yeah. So minor effect. So yes. I- instead of making you guys roll, I'm just going to have him sort of lift y'all through. Come so on. Anton gets, so Are there lots- people awake in here? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, there's about, there's about, as you guys come sliding into the car, you see about 60 people inside this car. Just a lot of them, one car. A lot of them clutching each other. This car goes. This car is extremely long. This, these Magrail lines, being futuristic and all, are actually. How many quite, cars are there? Um, there's 12 cars total, and you are looking at what looks like maybe a train that's coming through Los Angeles, and they're all staring at you all in shock as you all swoop in. Um, one little girl starts to scream, and her mother grabs her. Hey, we're here to help. Okay, everybody. They just stare at all of yeah, you. Everybody. If you can all just very safely stay in your seats, we're gonna move through the cars and make sure we get this train stopped. Is there anyone on the train that is making you feel unsafe besides the train? <laughs> um, someone says you. Fair. Okay. If, <laughs> guys, if the team outside can't stop this train, we have to get everybody on this train off of this train. Before we stop it from moving, how? What? Let's move them back to a, a car in the back, and then Cass, maybe you can punch that and disconnect it from the rest of the train. Oh, will that do anything bad to like, the know. momentum of the train? I don't, I'm not a scientist. <laughs> Lacey! Lacey! <laughs> we can't keep checking in with Lacey I'm for every going. scientific question. <laughs> They're doing stuff, let's go! Okay, I run, I, I head for the front of the Everybody train. move towards the back of the train. Um, the back. Make, make, okay, so every, people start getting up and like uh-huh. grabbing up, each other and filtering baby. into the back. Man, get your baby, let's go, go, <laughs> um, to the back. Cass, <laughs> Cass, make a roll, because you're you're about to collide with the door that stops you from entering into the front, the, the piloting area of this train. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, so go ahead yeah, and make your roll. Lot. Uh, difficulty, is, <laughs> difficulty is four. Roll for doors. Cal, there, cover your ears. Everything's okay. Uh, oh, you know what though? This right? is actually uh, difficulty is gonna be six. Mm. Difficulty, good doors. Uh, uh, secured door. It's breaking yep. doors. It's a secured door. Those the pilot doors. of the train is in the front. It's absolutely designed to stop people from kicking it in. Would you describe this as a strength task? Oh yes. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a strength <laughs> task. Um, so that takes it from a six to a four, and. One, two, three points to do two levels of effort, and now it's a two. Oh, oh Lord, I <laughs> bad luck. Here, this one's from someone good. Natural 20. Thank you, Tyson. Oh. Oh. That's, That's where the good die went. That's okay, good. Oh. Yeah, you did it to me. Damn, Amy. Door to the it's a good, good die. Okay. And you didn't when, you, just when, when Cass busts that open, I want to find that little girl that was afraid. I imagine I've near as many of the children that are crying. Sure. And I want to point at Cass and just say, you see that girl right there? She's so strong, she's going to stop this train with her bare hands. They have nothing to worry about. Uh-huh, but we're just moving she, to the back for no reason, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. She will stop the scared. train. She's going to do it, OK? The girl just stares at you and starts nodding. Yeah. But you see this fear in her eyes, but she's nodding. Yeah. Um, Cass. <laughs> The screech of metal protesting as you bash through it, tear it open, and you see a terrified woman sitting in the seat in front of you goes going, oh my god! Hey, how do trains work? <laughs> what? This is not supposed to be happening, right? How did you, no! Not important. I, no, it's, I can't get it to stop. She just starts jamming on this panel again and again and again. You see the flickering controls trying to come to life. Okay, okay. Oh man, there's so there's some power here? 
They looks like they're flickering to try to come to life. Yes. Yeah. Either that, there's been a malfunction. Um, okay. Back on the. Where's Hops? You're laying on your back. What are you doing? Snaps, where are you? Get up. Okay. Where are you? Figured out. Uh, I'm gonna head back to where they were, but I'm also gonna pass by the train to see what's happening. <laughs> Um, doors torn open, and you see the crowds of people moving towards the back of the train, and you see Anton just going, back into the back, back into the back. Um, Luma seems to be helping too. She's holding a little girl's hand, and the mother is like with them both as they're kind of moving through the train. Everybody's moving towards the back of the train right now. Um, as you zip back to the front of the train, running alongside, you can actually see up in the window a, a conductor that's just up there like screaming, and you see Cass is like going back and forth with them. And then you zip back. Whoa, you're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my no. God. Um, playback. What was just happening? I have no idea. Playback. It's gonna take real time though. <laughs> yeah, we don't have time for this. We gotta stop this train. We okay. have like minutes. Okay, but I don't have anything. To do. Okay, I'm I got no idea. Uh, <laughs> but I'm gonna start punching. It's still a problem. In the floor. We'll workshop it. She just watches you in horror, like, how are you doing that? And eventually you bash through the bottom, sparks flying up everywhere as you begin to get to the base metal plating of this train. Are you gonna try to get through that? Yeah. Okay, you start stomping through it, make a strength check. Um, this is, it, this is gonna be, you're trying to stomp through the floor, through the steel of this train. I'm gonna set the difficulty as nine. Oh. Um, okay. Just narratively, can I say when I hear Cass punching the front of the train, I leave the crowd to go make sure that something isn't breaking in and trying to hurt her. Luma being as fast <laughs> as you are, you get yeah. to the front of the train and you see Cass tearing the, the part. This okay, place. good, how can I help? <laughs> um, make your roll, if you're gonna make a roll. Uh, so it was difficulty nine? Yep. Yeah. So I can take it down to a five, the odds aren't great. But let's see. You roll that can, 20 dice again. I think again. you can roll a 15 or higher. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. uh, At this point, I'd like to go and grab that uh, conductor and pull her into the... Oh, so you're going to go to the front of the train as well? No, just my arm, dude. Got her. <laughs> okay, so you yeah. move within 20 feet right up there. Yep. And <laughs> what'd you Sending get? an XP, even though it's statistically dumb. <laughs> going for the reroll. Hmm. Fuck. Statistically dumb. Oh, 16! Uh, it's science. Science. Cass, you Feels watch Cass problem. futilely stomping on the steel. You do see it denting, yeah. but what she's doing, you've seen her do some pretty yeah. amazing stuff, but she's literally trying to punch through a train. You guys have done incredible things, <laughs> yeah. but nothing like that. You're a hair's breadth away of telling her, Cass, stop, when Cass goes, ah, and just stomps down, and then the entire bottom of the train explodes downward, and sparks explode up, and shower the inside of this conductor's train. The entire Shield. front of the train, your foot actually goes through and hits the tracks, and the front of the train catches. Cass, you're gonna take six points of might damage from this, yep. <laughs> as your foot smashes through and catches on the track below and pulls back up. You feel this horrible wrenching sensation. Uh. Um, as you pull your leg back up, the front of the train literally bucks up. Everyone is tossed up oh. into the air, and it loses a significant amount of speed oh. as it bucks and the mags catch. You see sparks explode out of the side of this train as it it almost wobbles off the track for a second, but now, suddenly, you have lowered the difficulty of stopping this train physically Thank dramatically. You. Um, at the cost of what feels like possibly a fractured foot. Oh, <laughs> leg, no, Mechanically, really you're not down. gonna be docked, but it hurts like a son of a bitch. Um, I'm on the track. Goes, <laughs> so we are at the moment where you guys are are gonna have to stop the train. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, Oya, yeah, okay. you're the one that's up for the roll. This thing is about to hit the magnets. So go ahead and you make your roll. You're literally trying to bend time back from earlier this afternoon. Just so in this, this one place, but it, section stretch of the track. The place, but you are going back in time farther than you actually warped something back. You focus all of your energies and start muttering prayers. You got this. Go ahead and make the roll. The difficulty is seven. Okay. Um, help me do this. Uh, so uh, okay. I just, time, time shenanigans. shenanigans. Uh, we had an asset. 
How many assets? We have at least two assets now, yeah? Yes, and I'm gonna give assets. I'm gonna give you uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you two assets from Cass. I'm giving oh. you one because Hops is also draining some of the power and shocking in some of the power, basically causing a, a volt of electricity to flow down the track Just so that the there's fucking up magnets. Okay. Seven. Yeah. That's what I'm We're doing. maxed out assets. We're at five. It's, it's five. five. Four. And then yeah, four for time shenanigans. Four. Okay. And then uh, we effort. could get three to effort. Three. Um oh yes, nine. three. I'll spend some effort, okay. yes. That gets us Okay, three nine or better. Is I think uh, nine or better. Where we're at. You can do yes. this. Okay. I'm gonna beat you. I got a thirteen. Yeah. <laughs> Super duper game. Super duper. <sighs> All right. I'm definitely watching you terrified because I know I like I just I messed up my foot real bad and I'm not hitting you with this train but I don't know what I can do and just sit. So. In the next in the next twelve hours, the news reports are flooded with your faces of people who took iPhone video, who saw a bunch of people do impossible shit, stopping a train, and the likeness of the people who saved folks on towers is unmistakable. It your faces explode all over the nightly news. And as people are going to the polling places the next morning, they're talking about Measure Z, but they're also talking about Callisto 6. The presence of supers is being confirmed slowly but surely, and people are starting to talk more and more about things that they've seen across the city. All of you have changed the course of this city for Whatever happens with Measure Z, your faces are out there and people know that there's people out there saving lives. Where we're picking up next season is literally going to be moments after this night has come to an end. <laughs> it'll be the next morning. So more than moments, but it'll be the <coughs> next morning. And as the day moves forward, the destiny of Los Angeles will be decided. But make no mistake, the efforts of a group of people with extraordinary abilities are going to sway that vote. And maybe, just maybe, the corporations didn't have the stranglehold they thought they did. Or worse, I should say, it thought it did. How's that for a cliffhanger? Yeah! Yeah! Appropriately Campbell-like. <laughs> we ran right up against it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like a train. We <laughs> Thank you, Tal, for joining us. That was cool. Thank you, Tal, for joining us. We have to bug out pretty fast because we're on a tight schedule tonight. Well, then we should make um, sure that we thank Eric for this phenomenal season. Well, well thank you. Thank you, Eric. Thank you very much. And thank you so much for joining us for Callisto 6. We're going to be picking this up off, um, as I said, season two is going to begin with the aftermath of everything that happened tonight. Oniko is still on the tracks. You've discovered something new about her. Tails has established himself. There's a thing that calls itself Fletcher, that's trying to pull the strings of everything. Lots of shit to unravel, but make no mistake, season two of Callisto 6, things are gonna get super. Vote. And then vote. And vote! And vote. That's vote. it for us tonight, everybody. Real Thank you so much for Real. joining us. Stay tuned, because Vampire the Masquerade is having their season finale tonight as well. Ah, so um, fangirling is up next. Thank you so much for joining us. And until we see you next time, everybody, stay whimsical. In the wake of the recent series of alarming tectonic activity in the Los Angeles area, more sightings of alleged super beings are being reported across the city. One LA motorist told authorities that they spotted what looked like a young man passing high-speed traffic on the 405 while on foot. And, and we'll come back to that in just a moment. But right now, I'm being told that we may have the final results from tonight's historic vote on Measure Z that will decide the future of Los Angeles.